There's a lot. I've seen a lot of four. And I've seen more four K badges that we had. Than Thank you. 
Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Oklahoma High School Apex Finals. We are running just a little bit late, so everyone in the chat and in the stream, again, thank you so much for showing up and uh, showing your support for definitely, your definitely. son or daughter playing tonight. And again, we are looking at chat the whole time. So again, if you want to shout Give out a, a kid. Comment. Yeah, let absolutely. us know where you're watching from, who you're watching. Um, and with that, you can take this time to also follow us on our socials at HQ on Instagram and Twitter or right here where you're watching, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, one more reminder that we are into the finals. Um, the top 10 teams in both the upper division and scissor tail division will be invited to participate in the Southeastern Land Apex Tournament next semester in the fall. So, and with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you'll stay tuned. And again, keep that comment section going. We will look at it the entire time. And just stay tuned, and we'll be right into the action. Peace out. Good morning, good evening, good night, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome to your Oklahoma High School Apex Finals, where today you'll be seeing your hometown teams play in a matchup to hopefully go home with a state championship Definitely. on the line in their own respective divisions. Man, this is a great opportunity for all the youngsters out there. I say youngsters, I'm just a year or two older <laughs> yeah, than them. Yeah, I mean, just <laughs> barely, but, barely. But to come out and compete is a great thing to see, and we hopefully we're going to see some great action here tonight. And so, Kyler, why don't you go ahead and hit us with some of the info that you're going to have to know for this evening's matchup. Well, like I said earlier, the top 10 teams in both the upper and the scissor tail divisions are going to qualify to participate in the land tourney hosted by SC in the fall. Um, actually, we will be playing an Apex commercial as well, and we took footage from the last Apex tournament, um, and we put it into that commercial, so whenever we play the commercial, you'll be able to see just how many schools get to participate in that. Um, like we were saying earlier, shout out to everybody that's commenting in the comment sections. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're watching, um, and cheer on your hometown team, definitely. Um, it's going to be a little different of a... Uh, of a format as uh, now we don't have a specific game we just have a specific point um so every team is trying to get to point 50 um in both divisions and like we said we will be jumping from point of views in every uh division so we'll be jumping between upper division and scissor tail division uh colby if you want to talk a little bit about that Absolutely. And so, like you said, there are going to be two divisions, the upper division and the scissor tail division. And so a little bit more on how the point system will work. And so each team, again, they're fighting for placement and kills throughout this match. The higher your placement, the higher points that you will get. And so, every kill is worth one point as well. So it adds in that extra effect of 
when you need to push people, when you need to lay back. Um, Absolutely. And uh, just to get you a little bit of a reference of what the top positions are going to be. First place is going to be taking home 12 points for their win. Second place is going to be nine points. Third place is seven. And then uh, five, four, three, two, and one for the rest of those. And positions 16 through 20. So the very last people in the game will get no points whatsoever. So you're going to have to least place in the top 50% of that game to gain your team some points. And so now that could play a little bit differently depending on teams like um, if you're going super aggressive and kills, maybe placement might not be as much, but it is good to still play towards the end of the game. And now to get you a little bit more on uh, our totals for some of our bigger schools here in the upper division, we have Epic Blue sitting at a current total of 225 points, more at a standing of 194, Bigsby at 172, Lawton, Black at 142, Norman North 127, uh, Norman High 110, Lawton 109, and I believe that's uh, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, yeah, at 103. at 103. And we are getting started here now with the first division up. Um, just want to give a few quick shout outs. First off, uh, all the schools participating, we could not do this without you, and we are happy to host this stream um, because we just want to see the improvement of esports here in the state of oklahoma absolutely um, quick shout out to kristen barnett um who said she's supporting her son jordan barnett from stigler um michael Ma michael matthews says go wayne I think that's Wayne's michelle or michelle michelle matthews go wayne <laughs> sorry about sorry that. about that daryl bostick uh good luck good luck davon um we're wishing you luck as well and then crystal heidrick sorry if i uh, butchered that last name who said woohoo let's go boys Way to show uh, support for everybody here in the uh, tournament. And so here we get, Let's get started. Going into the action, we're going to see a lot of uh, what you're going to call pre-drop locations. So now each team in every high school has chosen their pre-drop location so that everything is a little bit more organized and each team has a, uh, a better fighting chance for loot uh, now, throughout the rest of the with game. With that being said, though, I don't believe you have to necessarily land at your drop locations. Uh, you do have the opportunity to rush other people depending on um, how you want to go about starting off the game. Um, some people like to play more passive and then others like to play more aggressive. So uh, we're definitely going to see a lot, like we said last time in playoffs, um, this is the finals. So this is the opportunity for people to get out of their comfort zone and go and take opportunities and take chances. So we're going to see a lot of people playing outside of their comfort zone, I definitely assume. Absolutely. And again, like we talked about last time, we're going to see a lot of interesting picks, especially from yeah. the high school level. It's not really about playing meta. Oh, it's that more lore. <laughs> getting yeah. tagged very heavily. De definitely. It's more about playing to your comfort and playing what your team needs. Now, like we see, this is pretty much meta right now. Conduit yeah. cost it in a Bangalore. We're going to see Bangalore. a lot of Bangalore. We're going to see a lot yeah. of Bangalore in that character because of its smokes, rolling thunder, and its ability to control and move throughout the map map especially late game if you don't have yeah. much cover whatsoever so we're gonna see that quite a bit and now the conduit is a little bit of a newer character those batteries again lots of control and caustic is usually the one that is um that is the main controller especially those gas mines and that toxic ultimate is huge late game that bangalore picking up a blue helmet already is gonna be clutch here in early game looking at the conduit now and now to look at, uh, to explain uh, something a little bit more further is uh, Evo. As soon as it gets off yeah. the map, in the bottom left-hand side of your screen, you're going to see that level one's varying all the way to level four. And um, pretty much what Evo is, is that the more that you do in-game, basically getting kills, getting uh, beacons, respawns, whatever it may kind be. Kind of serves as like an XP type thing. Basically. In the way it works. And so that means that your armor is going to be better throughout the oh, game. And this caustic, caustic is hitting shots early. Love to see that team number 17 shout out there. Only 16 squads remaining. And again, to note, this is the scissor tail division. <clears throat> shout out to uh, Kylie in our comment section who said, good luck, Wayne brothers. Good luck, brothers. <laughs> good luck, brothers. <laughs> Wish it were Tuesday, but it's not. <laughs> it's a Wednesday. <laughs> and again, taking a look here, not much. Ooh, that um, caustic dodging the bullets. Not much is going on here, especially in the early game. But, Just trying to retreat back. Yeah, but now we're going to take a look over to oh, the upper wow. division 
of this matchup. And now, again, Team 6 can take a look in here. Sweetest Bugle, Snorlax, and uh, <laughs> Clement. Clement. Sorry if we butcher any yeah. names. Um, We're trying our best out yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and just for the viewers watching, I'm not sure if me and Colby actually introduced ourselves. Um, I'm Kyler Drake. I am a freshman here at Southeastern Oklahoma State University, and my major is communications. And then... Ooh, and some early shots here. I'll yeah, get to my introduction yeah, in just a second. Just that second. alternator, yeah. team number six, is going in on uh, this team in this building here. And it seems uh, that you're immediately. Just can't hold on whatsoever. And now again, took looking. The only one left standing up using God, that he's, knock shield he's to his fall. advantage. But no. I believe only one more left. Um, team number six yeah. does take a fall, though. And now again, go in. looking. Oh, the Phoenix kit's going to be clutch. Absolutely. As well as the revive. And now that you see this, again, talking about the Evo system, we're going to see a lot of aggressiveness here. But, man, that Octane is just taking heavy, heavy fire for team number four. Along with this Bloodhound brother. Still Staying away. Phoenix kit. Phoenix kit. And oh, both two of his are gonna teammates. Fall. Team number four not looking in great shape here. The team above has full advantage over this Bloodhound. And Range is, is going to push. Yeah, he's just going to push him. Why Send not? It, brother. Why not? I mean, we are in. Alternator. Oh. He's insane. Why not? One more. Range. Why not? Oh, no. I wanted him to have that one so bad. Team number four is going to fall. Man. Unfortunate chain of events. But I do... I do like the push. It wasn't a bad play. It was a really good play. Yeah. He was getting in their heads a little bit, dodging around the corner. I felt like I was watching the movie Dodgeball from all the <laughs> dodge, dip, dive. But, uh, but yeah, good that's, play. That's the last thing the enemy team on height there was going to expect. Yeah, a I mean, push from the last enemy player, which almost ended up in his favor. And shout out to Range, man. You sold out for your team. Great job to you through the rest of this match. And now switching over to team number one of the upper division here. Still, Micro Leviathan and Dally, I believe we saw them just a little bit ago in the in the semifinal rounds. We saw Leviathan do a little bit. I remember his name mostly. So shout out to team number one in this finals match. Now, again, it's still a little bit spread out. The initial uh, contact from the drops has seemed to subside just a little bit. And now switching over here back to another POV, trying to find some fights. And now it looks like team number six back to Sweet Bugle, Snorlax, and Clamat. He is looking very well. Again, an Octane's a little bit different of a pick, sacrificing speed for just a little bit of health. And he does have those jump pads, which can put you in a great position and later on. Snorlax also has his blue Evo. Um, looking to try to push it up a little bit more. The purple helmet for Clement is going to be crucial here as well. Let's see here. And he's going to use the height advantage. Now popping the shield. Gonna kind of wait a minute, let his team get regrouped here. I don't blame him. Team down low. I wonder if they're just gonna kind of heal too and stay back. And now again, Moonwalker is just kind of waiting for him. Yeah, still staying with um, the team number eight here, pressuring. Yeah, he was trying to anticipate the shot there, but nobody wanted to peek him. No, we've actually, we found that in this map particularly, our own SC team has um, has found themselves in many, many gunfights in this area, especially. So hopefully we'll see whatever team goes out on top. Usually it's the team on top of zip lines there. Usually, I'm not calling him out, but <laughs> that. That uh, that area is really well to hold. And now team number six getting in the mix yet again, finding oh, some Phoenix kits. That Phoenix kit's going to be crucial here late game. Absolutely. Especially after, uh, if you don't have many, such as like a lifeline, um, which our own team plays. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Fang, one of our uh, casters <laughs> as well, showing the broadcast. But yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting. And man, do is that what I see? We have a new castle on site for high rules. I love to see that along with the Bloodhound and a Bangalore. Not much of a uh, new castle that you see very, very much, yeah. but very interesting, especially in this case for oh. his controllability and his shield. Good shot. 
five the more shots cracking with the sentinel get you another one boy <laughs> yeah for go real. for it anytime i see the sentinel pulled out i just automatically get scared that somebody's <laughs> about to get domed it's it's almost and he's anticipating again and again oh and he's again. gonna pick up 70 gets the crack on the bloodhound there and now again Good ping by the teammates though curvy and kuso still uh, staying but back they're gonna be caught in a third party now it seems like every team, team hill. again that bangalore saving his team teammates back right there because popping those smokes even just enough cover to get out of there that rolling thunder coming in and now still high rules is taking shots at the enemy yeah. team but this team behind them is going to cause them a lot a lot Plus, of not to mention that they still have to go to zone absolutely so zone is also going to play a crucial part they have a minute 40 to get on the move but they're kind of caught in a bad situation right here looking at micro now for team number one and man team number one sitting pretty with yeah, two purple, purple armors yeah and a full max red now they're going to be definitely leviathan and the rest of his team is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with later in this game Another but now sentinel. team number nine and there's the balloon shooting down that reeb deploy as they see a lot as soon as people go up that zip line many people are going to be shooting at them trying to get cracks and shoot them out of the sky but now they re they re position themselves and start looking at the number one team leviathan along with his boys and now again i liked pressuring this fight just a little bit because they are on the edge of zone they don't have to do much right here but again yeah. keeping pressure and letting your presence be known so that you do not get pushed here late in the game and ruin your chances of getting high placements again sitting with a flat line not much of on the um the optic which can mess them up just a little bit but going to the black market looking oh, to yeah. get I'm not quite sure what he got there. <laughs> probably probably some heals, probably some ammo. I'm not quite sure. But now, again, team number nine sitting pretty well off. Really doesn't have much cover other than these rocks, so they're going to have to look vertically and watch the pressure there. They do have long-range weapons, so that can help them in their position that they're at. And now, again, team number nine looking to reposition. On the rotate. Looking for I think yet they're another. doing a good job, though, of rotating. Now they're just going to try to pick off damage here. From the team up ahead round two is gonna be closing in five seconds and now switching over to team number 11 a one-man army seems to hopefully sit down another enemy team here the professor watch him work pushing <laughs> with the bangalore love to see this gonna use some uh, stars yeah that star was clutch and he, and he got him. one he downs one on the enemy team and this could be huge he has to play it safe though he doesn't have many heals left but it is still a two-on-one scenario. He's going to try to bait this enemy team out here, not letting them try to get the res, but still waiting and watching. Yeah, see, I think this might be the smartest play here to just kind of rotate back. Um, that enemy catalyst knocking him off his mark there just a little bit, but switching over to team number 10 with the Pathfinder and a Gibraltar. You love to see uh, that. Let's go and take a look at the other division and see how they're doing. Absolutely. In standard division, we'll see at the end of... Yeah, 12 um, squads remaining, 27 players alive. Again, this Catalyst, Octane, and Bloodhound still finding their Man, way. Team number seven. It's so different because one circle from one thing is on the complete opposite side. Yep. And ladies and gentlemen, just please keep up with this here. It's going to be quite a bit, but yeah. we'll hopefully uh, see your teams here. Now, checking in yet again, they still have just a little bit to go, but now switching back over to the upper division, and we'll see how they're doing. It seems that Team 9 is right in the trouble, and they are being pushed here on top vertical. And now they do have a Revenant alt going uh -huh. out. So they are seeing not, just a little bit. They're going to be able to chase. But zone also is going to be a crucial part in this. Man, that zone is absolutely yeah. demolishing that enemy team that they're fighting there. X is just... He's about to see two out. around They're the corner, out. and he doesn't know. He There's one. Ready. The Octane running away, trying to get away from contact, and now the rest of his team is going to try to hold this door and see if they can't hold this position. Oh, but this high ground, that's crucial. And good pickup. Great by X the there, and now we're going to take off. Not sitting. They do have a teammate down, but that Fuse could look to get the revive. He, I don't know if he's in great position or not, but this Revenant's going to try to hold the door. And not let that team position given up. And now switching over to team number seven, Matt, Brick, and Banana. <laughs> what a uh, go lineup there. What a name there. <laughs> yeah, for real. And team eight, Octane, looking to rat it out, being the final one, Jamin. 
now seeing if he can get any positioning in this building run away from as many guns fights as he can level three sitting not too bad but yet again a one on three is a terrible disadvantage to be in especially in the game of apex now again fighting on the low ground he doesn't have much to fight 12 squads left 26 people remaining and team number 16 being way away Plus, from the action not to mention every individual kill is also worth one point into the 50 so uh you want to try to get as many kills as possible to try to end the game as early as you can absolutely and i like the positioning of this team here they're really on the far they had yeah. the potential to go to backside of zone and get and uh take gunfights and long-range engagements on the teams rotating in i think this is a great place to hold especially xenos rebecca and clax great place i don't think they need to push anything right now I mean, they want to play for with placement the, the two purple shields yeah they don't um, they don't need to do anything just kind of take a chill pill for a minute exactly let and they do have a gold helmet as well which does passively oh, yeah. recharge your ultimate ability so we could possibly see them swapping that off here as soon as uh they might pop their ultimates that bangalore does have a rolling thunder so that could come in handy later but now on team 15 on the low ground of all these buildings in this city and now team Two 15 teams looking to meet. push oh, and they're gonna chase that octane the solo running oh, away man. Getting shot. 30. Team 15 trying to take him down, but no, doesn't quite connect. And now Lightway, Sergeant, and Jim. Having pretty good angles on this team down below. Can they do it? They have a vault in the flat line. Not big damage, but they just got to land uh, their shots. This conduit he just getting, took some damage. Yeah, getting out of his way just a little bit. But again, fourth circle... With only a minute to go, we could see a lot of chaos happen here very, very quickly. Now switching over to Mr. Goat's POV. Team number eight fighting just outside of this city here. Bloodhound's trail. And down goes one for team number eight. Team 16, they face these two teams coming out of the underpass there. And they will go down. Team number eight takes the top. And now this Bloodhound trying to get back to his team looking good job by pulling out the revive looking at big speed here team three trying to uh to rat it out just a little bit yeah and we are down now to the final 10 squads team one leviathan no micro and dally fell and now all that's left is leviathan the octane that's a very very bad situation to be in but the rest of these teams are in positive standings and now, as you can see, everyone's pretty much reaching a high level of Evo here. Two purples and red for team number 12 for Spook and the rest of his teammates. And now, again, we're just waiting for that final circle. Again, lost. Void Sniper and his, the rest of his team is going to be on that far left-hand side, watching for people coming out of that trails. And again, pretty passive. Going to switch over to the standard division, see how things are here. Round number five, Eight ring. squads left, 19 players remaining. This is where stuff's about to get really interesting here because we're going to have to see teams go out of their comfort zone a little bit. That Watson. Ooh, good picks there. Yeah. That Watson has that area set up very, very nicely. And he's setting up even more. Just a little bit of uh, interior design going on <laughs> Definitely, there. Definitely, yeah. And again, team number two, un of the scissor tail division. Round number five, ring closing, and a lot of fights are going on. Bloodhound, Octane, and Catalyst for team number seven. Find some close-range engagements. They are playing under this overpass here, which is and pretty interesting. And this Catalyst on top, looking to slow them down just a little bit. And now they're going to push and swing out, and they get absolutely picked off just a little bit. But this Bloodhound uses his ult. The hunt is on. And these few seconds remaining oh, in that team. Oh, no, he didn't even see him. It's going to drop, but down goes one for the team on the overpass. And now staying back, Caustic. team number two, with that Watson controlling great, great places. Looking to try to pick up some, a little bit of damage is that Caustic. Looking at the Watson now. He's going to anticipate it. Not going to connect. No, no, no. And again, that final circle closing back up will be with them just in a second. Now back over to the 
upper division. Six squads left, 14 people remaining. Snorlax, Wheat, Bugle, and Climac. Uh, we've seen them very, very early on, sitting in great position and with all Clement not able out. to hit any shots right there. It's really unfortunate. And man, they are pretty spread out as yeah. well. But another enemy team looking to fight. They all have their own respective buildings with uh, two solo or two duo squads, three full trios, and then a one solo. And that'll be Dally. Oh, and no! Wow. Down goes another team. 11 was eliminated. Five squads left, 13 remaining. Four squads Makes now that left. Four. The solo was taken out. Already shots being fired here. Spooky gonna take a little bit of damage. Team 12 looking to get super, super aggressive yeah, good, here. Good job by popping the heels. I like to see that. And now still sitting back, getting some heels in. Seer looking to catch him off guard. And there it is as they catch him rotating with the R301. Oh, wow. But they're going to be third party from the side as well. Just slightly. They get the and initial one's knock. going to get knocked. And now the in other storm. one's in zone. The rest of his team. And they're going to get him. I don't know if they were accredited with it or not. Spooky could have been the third party. Only one and bullet. He's gonna fall. Unfortunate, but not, here's again team number six. Two Snorlax squads left. Goes yeah, down. Now he's gonna send some out. That conduit setting up batteries, but now they are third party yet again. Oh no! Wow. Clement left alone, and he's gonna oh. fall. Team eight coming out of game number one as the champions. Great to see that. Now switching back over to the, uh, the Scissor Tail yeah, Division. Yeah, just in time. Three squads left, seven remaining. Horizon underneath looking. Again, finding it out. Yeah, going to pop the shield first and then go for the res, I assume. Team number two had a great uh, position of rotate here from the ring. This Watson is the only one left for his team, and he has a one on three. The knock. And what a great another. position. Dealing loads of damage. Oh, but he's in zone. He he almost died there. He's got his traps. He could play here to his advantage. No way. On top of the rocket. Oh, no. You didn't see a team number three in the scissor tail division coming out. On top, man. Great job there on team number three. And again, looking at your upper division finalist. Team number eight with 11, 11 kills, kills and wow. a first place finish. Ladies and gentlemen, for team number eight, that is going to be 23 points. In game number one. In game number one. Um, that is a hefty, yeah, hefty task to accomplish. That is awesome. Um, real quick shout out in our chat. Joy Tribby and Chrissy Guthrie both said go jaw. Um, a shout out to uh, jaw. Shout out to jaw. Um, and then Phoebe... I believe, said, please spectate a certain player. Unfortunately, um, we don't really have access to spectate certain players. We are trying our best, however, to make sure that every POV is being accounted for. Absolutely. And again, taking that was the upper division stats there. Now in the lower division, pretty Tan, uh, yeah, I mean, me, standard division or scissor tail division. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> It'll yeah. be one of those. I mean, similar stats all around. I mean, we have 10 kills, but then look at like team number five who scored like number three in placement, but then still had 10 kills as well. They made so up So they're a still lot. up there competing. Um, and number 12, team number four had eight kills, but they placed number 12. So it's just really unfortunate about where you want to, uh, about your rotation, where you need to rotate, and who you need to push, and who you don't need to push. Absolutely. And by our, uh, I remember one of the famous quotes from our esports players on our Apex team. It was, Apex is just a little bit of skill and a little bit of luck mixed yeah. together with a bunch of controlled chaos that might or might not go your way. Yeah. And so that's, anyone can really win a game in this scenario. You just have to play smart, and you have to play uh, with a watchful eye towards the future. And now, yet again, we'd like to take a little time to pluck our own socials here. If you do not follow us at any of our socials, go check us out at HQ for all your gaming esports and needs. We are right now. We are about to play the Apex commercial, um, and all of the footage from this is from our land tournament that Southeastern hosts. The top ten from both divisions will be given an opportunity to participate in the land tournament next fall. So here's that commercial now.
And that was our Apex commercial. So again, if you want to have a chance at hopefully playing at a collegiate esports level, you can do so by, again, grinding your own game that you would like and hopefully getting in contact with us here at SE Sports and hopefully getting a spot on the roster. I mean, We'd yeah, love definitely. to see you I mean, here. If uh, you are a senior and you're interested in playing any of the games that Southeastern has to offer, don't be afraid to reach out. Um, we can definitely set up tours and we can also just, we just want the community at Southeastern Esports to be an open environment to everybody to participate. So if you're on the fence, you don't know what you want to do after high school, come give Southeastern a tour. Just come look at it. <laughs> Absolutely. Quick little plug. Quick little plug there. As we can see, upper division team, epic yellow at eight points. Taking a look at our um, at our own stats here. Let me take a look over to the um, the apex stats. There, we we'll have an idea. Yep, there we are. And now switching over to the template maybe <laughs> if we can get template. there template i don't like the way you said that, that template was so weird. temp plate <laughs> here we have it okay all right here's your temp plate temp plate for so this <laughs> <laughs> this will be your scissor tail division as you can see on screen team number three with 22 points 10 kills and wow. total team number five with 17 points 10 kills and total team number two 13 points and four kills total and the rest of the leaderboard there again shout out toxify fabulous sailor faulty windows we saw a lot of them in the qualifiers yeah. as well especially for their the the scissor tail division <laughs> podge i'm that dude <laughs> and Ryzon being team number five in now that second go, uh, place take a look at um the other division absolutely getting a look over here make sure if i can find it real quick maybe 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 ah uh, there we go all uh, right, there you have it. Okay, this is now for the upper division of play. Team number eight, as you can see, did a very, very good job getting a fairly well off 23 points with 11 kills. That'll be Vod Sniper, uh, Moonwalker, and Zane. Team number 12 rounding out second place there in that game. ADF with, um, with Jay and Spookies on 19 points, 12 kills. And team number six, Snorlax which I think is probably the best name so far that I've seen. <laughs> Sweetest Bugle and Bog, and 16 points, 7 kills for them as well. And now, again, we're going to take some time between these matches to hopefully reset get these teams some time to talk and to get back into their game plan. So we are going to take a break, and ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned, and we'll be right back. And you know, into this is a perfect opportunity for everybody to... Um leave a comment in the comment section while we're on break or to check out more about Southeastern Esports. Absolutely. So, we see there uh, Barnett saying, go Toxify Jordan and his team. Shout out Jordan. Shout out Jordan. Shout out Jordan. So we'll ladies and gentlemen, right back. we'll be right back.
And here we go as we get started here for match number two. Shout out to uh, Crystal Heidrick who said, Go Banana. Devin is going to OKSE next year for esports. I hope you mean Oklahoma State University. Yeah, I or hope Oklahoma, so. Southeastern Oklahoma State University. <laughs> it's what I hope you mean because we would love to have him. Absolutely. And again, this is the upper division taking a look at these picks here. Pretty, pretty standard. Seeing a lot of Octanes. Um, revenant being the only one on the board so far and another revenant coming in as those second picks a lot of conduit i'm seeing that is uh starting to make its way yeah. into the new meta those it's batteries are definitely trend. hard to deal with and now i believe that this second game is going to be on am i wrong i should this should be olympus right i, I believe it's olympus thought, yeah yeah it should be olympus just match kidding. Ended. Match has been ended. My admin. <laughs> and so that'll That's give us hell. some time. Yeah, that'll give us some time to talk a little bit more about uh, the matches. So again, if you're just joining us, this is how this tournament is going to work. Each team is going to fight it out until they get to 50 points. Now, these 50 points are going to be what is called match points. So once you get to the 50 points, you're going to have to win a whole game of apex to win and take home the state champion so that means that many uh many teams could be at match point at the same time four or five different teams could meet that 50 point mark and then one of them is going to have to win that next game to take home the state championship so that makes it a little bit better and a uh more of a fighting chance for every team so never count your team out and so again, taking a look, Crystal he is going to Southeastern. So Jordan, hopefully to see you here in the uh, spring and fall awesome. semesters. Uh, shout out to Coach Harris, um, the esports director here at Southeastern Oklahoma State University. He said he's going to try and keep the top four teams in his updates until everyone starts hitting match point, and then he'll say who is eligible to win. So stay up to date in the comment section so you'll know who is up to date to win. Um and where your teams are sitting at placement wise Absolutely. looking at team number nine here with the bangalore and the watson this will be the standard castle as well getting some shots on early scissor tail division scissor tail. <laughs> man i keep saying that i'm so sorry scissor tail division it's our state bird i, 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 I like it i like it. scissor tail division i really like that it's smart it's smart yeah and now team number nine facing some uh some early early damage Choosing here this high ground is the newcastle to the advantage I like that. Still staying back. I mean, these early gunfights could mean the difference of your team placing high or not. I mean, you have to play your cards right. If you want to fight a team early, great. But you have to be confident that you're going to win your gunfights and play as a team. Because as soon as you get a first knock, people are going to push. As soon as they see that sign of weakness, you can expect a lot of bullets and a lot of utility to be flying your way. And so now it seems that that purple team there is going to rotate away, as you can see on the map, red team. But it looks like the red might be chasing a little bit. They have the Why? blue oh. team to their side as well. Could make for some interesting third-party situations. Absolutely. And the mind oh, pass. Meet somebody right there. Team number 12. <laughs> caught the lifeline off guard. That lifeline just... Oh, and the lifeline's going to go down. Get smoked there. Yeah, that team rushed in as soon as he did all that damage to the lifeline. And now that Loba trying to catch up with the rest oh, of his team. My. And shooting from where, the top. Yeah. Up top, I had no idea where that was coming I from. I didn't know either. either. <laughs> yeah. And that catalyst will fall as well. And now again, pretty spread out in this uh, early matchups. We see some of the early gunfights, but it will kind of... Um, It'll kind of level out here just a little bit. And now here are the landing spots for your upper division. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty, but now we are back into the game. So team number five, uh, Apex Legend 101, Wookiees, Soup, landing <laughs> their Miso Soup, let me rephrase. Yeah, miso. miso. Yeah, that's important. That's some good stuff right yeah, there. Let me tell you. We've have got, we got a lot of good uh, Chinese and Asian places around here. <laughs> I look forward to that. Another reason to come to Southeastern <laughs> Oklahoma State University. I'm just saying. And so, yeah, getting that initial ground loot, trying to figure everything out, not taking... Seeing some early action there. Shots by Apex Legends. Man, it's weird saying the name of your game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
and 101 again finding some more ground loot let's switch back over to the standard division because they are just a little bit further the along tell division revenant <laughs> peacekeeper and <laughs> p2o nah it's all funds here at southeastern oh getting shot wow, still were big staying behind are they not those nades that knocked out oh, shield wow. takes out a whole entire squad man those grenades are perfectly no they were trying to play behind their own team's knockdown shield, which I believe was even a blue or maybe a common, yeah, but still. Know. Horizon now gonna fall. Man, that's a highlight play to put on your own, your team own team. Three Horizons at low as well. And hey, Toxify, shout out there with his team. Trying to push Horizon. Staying back, looking, taking that Sentinel, trying to get the players running away, but no, team number one yeah. was eliminated. And great to see their teams getting active in these early, early circles. And now again, this is the standard division. Scissor tail division. <laughs> There's got to be a counter on screen or something. And again, seems seems that things have stalled out just a little bit. And now we'll switch over. Update on the scissor tail division. Number three, Stigler. 22 points. Number five, Ripley with 17 Number two, Davis Black with nine. And number seven, Wayne Black with 11. Great job there. Thank you to Coach Harris for keeping us updated as well. Absolutely. We appreciate all you do for uh, Southeastern Coach Harris. Royalty himself. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> always, shot, always got the best shoes in the building. Yep. Shoe game on point. And now back over to the upper division here. Looking at Bixby. Man, shout out Bixby. Yeah. I love to uh, I love to watch them. I don't remember if we saw much of them in the semifinals, but you are here now, and Man, that's all that matters. The only thing matters. I know about Bixby is uh, they got a good football team. <laughs> football. Yeah, <laughs> great job there. But they are making a name for their esports team here. Smiles, Janked, and um, Luxier, I believe. No, actually, Bixby was finishing in the top five pretty consistently last yeah, game. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Because I I just remember some huge Sentinel shots late in the game and Kraber shots as well. Good Don't shots by the Professor. Getting some damage oh, here. Looking for the nade. Team 11. Colby. <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, man. The man. If he would have connected on that, that would have been crazy. Yeah, that would have been. That would have been a great shot there. Phoenix oh, kit. Great I job. would love to see a Phoenix kit. Hemlock and alternator. Going to try to move uh, that cargo along down. just a little bit. And now see to take another gunfight. Team 11 being very, very aggressive. We'll see how that ends up in their favor. But no, that oh, Rolling Thunder gets pinged just a little bit. And now Team 11 getting active. Seeing push that him. Pathfinder just Getting on the other side. Gray. Conduit does have the ult. They could push him out of this building, but no. And they threw down the That's your shield. Boulder, I believe. That was a gold helmet, I believe, on the other team. Which is kind of scary. Just a little bit. And now here it is. There's the There's ultimate. The ult. There's some batteries. Going to try to flush them out of this building here. And now rotating towards Smart the backside. Play. Three in. Catalyst locking off that door and making the team uh, a vital wall for that rotate there. And now getting out the other way. Team 11 still in very, very hot pursuit. Running away. Still looking for long shots. Getting on the zip line. A deathly oh, place to wow. be. And down goes one for team Oh, 14. but they're going to be third partied from the side. Professor trying to do as much damage as possible. Grimmy, man. Takes it down there. Now, Snorlax also, I believe, taking it down as well. But man, Professor and the rest of his team catching up there, putting their foot on the gas. But I'd love to see that. But now Team 11 down to only one player. Professor in the open, getting the revive. I think he needs that for his team. Yes, he does. And that Revenant going to be playing from behind just a little bit. And now three in. Marking the rest of that enemy team. Yeah, that's now, be... Team number nine in hot pursuit right oh, behind wow. team 11. They saw the down. They're going to have to push this creator. Team 11 went from being the team that pushed to now being the team being pushed. The, pr the, hunted yeah. beco the hunter becomes the hunted. Here we go. From predator to prey. Here we go. We're going to see almost a mirror of what happened earlier. They're going to take that cargo and start the activation to push it up so they can get on top of, um, on top of that overpass there. 
but team uh that last team that we saw did have a conduit alt so they could possibly have a repeat of what we saw just earlier and now again switching over to leviathan dally and micro team number one sitting pretty well off and now seeing some gunfire here from team number three smiles doing some great damage yanked getting the revive this conduit on that bloodhound which is a very crucial pick and now jumping off from overpass taking some damage bigsby not looking in the best position here they're gonna have to get out of the way and they are gonna choose to do so rotating away very low on health is smiles but the rest of his team taking shots smiles feeling the blunt end of that one and now this bangalore and now yanked goes down for team number three and i do not think he has a chance of getting revived there's so much pressure on team number three right now they're just gonna leave him behind Farewell, soldier. You will be remembered. That was that was funny. Was that? Yeah, was that good? That, that, was, that, that was, good? was a good one. That was a good one. Don't need to put that on my resume. <laughs> Fifteen squads remaining. Forty players left. Rest in peace, Yanked. You yeah, will be remembered. Real. Salute to you, sir. And now getting a different POV of team number one here: Leviathan, Daily, and Mac Micro. Excuse me. Ooh, not macro. Not macro. Not, not big. The yeah, small, micro. small micro. He keeps it low key. Yeah. I like that. Low key. That's funny. <laughs> He's, and they do have a golden helmet, we're which gonna be again, here all night, ladies. We're gonna be here yeah, all night, bro. whether you like it or not. You know, if uh, if college ain't the thing for us, we might just become comedians. Because I mean, I think we're good at it. Yeah, I would. You know, I would prefer to be a stand up, but I like sitting down. Uh, yeah, me too. It's... Yeah, me too. Anyway, enough with the <laughs> yeah, bad sorry, jokes. Sorry, yeah. We're back to the action again. Team number two picking up here, Bloodhound, uh, with Kuso, Curvy, Bangalore. Shout out to and uh, Phoebe to as Newcastle. we have Curvy here now. Um, the POV you wanted to see earlier. Um, like we said, we're trying our best to try to make sure every team is accounted for, at least a little bit through the broadcast. Ooh, and I finished there from uh, no, the map was in the way, unfortunate. But switching over to the Scissor Tail Division, got it right that time. We're gonna see a little bit more action as these circles are closing in. And now this blue and pink team. Yeah, they're gonna end up colliding. Absolutely. Seems that team number six toxify. Oh, they didn't see him. Oh, run away, buddy. Bangalore smoking himself away yeah, with that Gibraltar. And here comes the star. That Watson does have the ult, but far away. 30 30, great gun. In the hands of the right players, trying to get some pick shots oh, as they rotate he was away. Almost there. Man, that Gibraltar shield really saved them to get on the other side of this mountain. And now again, it doesn't really matter what division you're in, as long as you're a good player, you will be recognized. Absolutely, and your team as well. And now again, this Watson applying pressure to this team vertically, looking. For yet another pick, and I don't know if this cost it. Yes, he is going to push, and, and he's going to use his ult. Looking for the huge finish here, and now they're going to oh, be... They're going to push immediately with the shield. Inside of the Brawlter shield, he's going to rotate out. And the other two teams, this conduit doing very heavy damage, but their team's cost is going to go fall. tall. Team number two. <laughs> Jinx. Immediately pushing. No, oh, the three the one. One. Ow, by the Watson. Two piece and a biscuit. Get that man his <laughs> order. <laughs> Sir, you have done well. Tuesday, Tuesday. Great job there. Special place. Team number Special five. Place. Oh, now back over to team number four. Locker back in elementary. On the zone is going to play a big factor in this one. The Ooh. fire as well. Then lots of damage. This Octane playing is smart. The jump pad could potentially get out of there, but man, it is loud in these headphones because everything is going down right now. <laughs> Conduit dealing some damage. Max level Evo with that flatline. Alternator could push here. Good take. Conduit could see it down. And Shot no. And hit fire. Gets it done. And I believe that is your kill leader, Conduit, as well, with seven a piece from him and Five his team. Five squads left here for the Scissor Tail Division. 12 players remaining. And it seems they are also pretty spread out. And every team that has had a gunfight has finished it up and now back over to the upper division to see how we're doing 14 squads left 37 people remaining team number one the leviathan micro and dally seeing some contact here with the r301 with the great side as well head glitch on that rock 
That other team is in a very, very tough position, but no, they are getting shot from almost every yeah, single basically. angle they can think of. Bangalore Smokes are going to try to rotate and focus their, their, their gunfights one-on-one -on -one here. They're going to push the teams on rock. That Horizon going up, trying to get a vertical angle, and I think the rest of his team is going to send it. And yes, hey, well, Micro throwing some... Immediately going in. Throwing some frags. Looking for the thirst. One player remaining for this enemy team, oh, but no, they're getting third one party. Behind. They're getting third party, Kyler. Every angle you can Every think of. Every angle, man. They just got to rotate as fast as possible. Potentially going to get this thirst, and they have finally found themselves in decent position. Man, that was almost a mistake there from team number mm -hmm. one because they sacrificed their better position for worse, and now just they know... Just for another team. Yeah, just for another team, and now they know that the rest of the lobby has a good placement of where they're at on the mat, but they seem it seems to work out all in their favor so team number one props to you for the gutsy play there you rolled the dice correctly and now team number five apex legend soup and wookies gonna try to do some damage here about halfway on his ult soup team number five not playing zone almost the whole way through Full level 3 Evo shields there. And now still. Playing very, very passably. Let's take another look at another team. Team number 8. 11 Three. squads remaining. 24 players alive. That POV is a little bit messed up. Not sure yeah. what's wrong with that audio there. Team 3 was just eliminated though. 11 squads, 24 people remaining. So... And now Leviathan getting shots off, finds another enemy it's team. A crack. And now Dalian Micro right behind him there with the push. If he has a rolling thunder, this would be a great opportunity to use it to try to push them back towards uh, his side. Oh, but no. Shot in front. They're not going to be able to do so. With the R301 as well. Now it seems Ring 3 is now closing. And we will look to see. A minute 30 for round four. And now again, that is your upper division. Back over to your scissor tail division. Three squads remaining. And two full squads and a duo in this final circle. And now team number five. Sitting pretty well within circle. They Looks have like all of these teams are more spread out. Um, that two squad set up though are just by themselves we have pressure immediately coming from team number five that red weapon wingman playing the numbers advantage they're just gonna look to push and i like yeah, it here I mean, they I go don't blame them get run away in the a, what a man. shot oh my goodness don't peek this horizon don't do it <laughs> don't do it you will get punished and horizon calling the shots yet again get out in front go for it i like it that jump pad Getting out of the way. Oh, but he's going to take some good damage. And no, he is silenced just a little bit. But man, they have that jump pad from that leftover Octane. I don't know what they're going to try to do with it. But their teammate, Fuse, goes down. And now that Horizon looking. <laughs> Throw him <laughs> up in the air right in their own laps. Great job there for the revive. <laughs> And now again, feeling the pressure. Good job by Horizon. I said it. Do not peek this Horizon. His shots are on point. Four kills for Horizon. Three squads left. Seven alive. And what a great job there. And yet again, some more gunfights going down on this uh, low ground. Good job by third parting by the Horizon. Picking and up a fourth kill. And now it's just the two squads left. It's a 3v3 situation. Full swing on top of rock. This Horizon going to jump right up there with them. And now max level armor. The wingman. Oh, headshot. good hit on the 50. They get one They get one of them down. That Gibraltar shield holding on this final one. Yeah, and there you have get him. It. Team number five. Great job. Y'all deserve it. Jumping right over to the upper division here. But again, great job to that Horizon. And ladies and gentlemen, we do have to have a caster leave. So. I, I do have to leave. I have another class I have to get to. But uh, it's been fun casting tonight, and we couldn't do it without any of these schools. So thank you for uh, for the time I was here. Colby, take him away. We'll see you later, Kyler. And now it is a solo stream, ladies and gentlemen. You'll hear my voice if you get sick of it or not for the rest of the night.
And now team number nine looking to get very, very active here. Gaming getting inside of this little of this little cargo place here. Getting the peaks on that Pathfinder. Excuse me, that Revenant. And now dealing damage and no! Zareel couldn't get it done. Team number nine has gone down and now switching going to team number eight. Dealing with the Rolling Thunder. They do not have many places to go. They are stuck off in a corner. Void Sniper with the Nemesis and a car could get the job done. Bangalore did eventually use his Rolling Thunder, but now they're just going to wait him out. Sonar, Bloodhound, figures out where they are on that vertical angle. And now Zane and Walker are going to look to push using that conduit to seal their, their flank. And now looking for it, couldn't get away. That Revenant goes down, and team number eight sweeps the floor there. Not much that enemy team could have done. They, were, they had their backs in a corner, unfortunately. But... That is how the cookie crumbles. And now picking up some more some more loot. I like the Sentinel and Alternator play here. This is a very, very open-ranged uh, ending circle. Like you can see, that Sentinel is going to be a game changer. And he doesn't know that this enemy team is underneath the bridge. Team 8 could potentially have a huge flank on their hands that they have to deal with. With these four squads remaining, 10 people. Zane looking for these shots. Ooh, and gets the pick there. Sees one. Those clones, a little bit deceiving, but not enough for good players. And now they do realize that one team is underneath them, and they're going to have to look to deal with that just a little bit later. Bangalore Smokes going through. And away goes there. And Zane goes down with the rest of this team underneath. I don't think he meant to do that. Get away. And he is dangerously, dangerously low. They're going to look to push him, but the rest of his team is underneath with him. Void Sniper and Walker trying to do work. This Octane looking to catch up. And now trying to cover themselves. And another team is looking to pressure them. Falling ever so low. Zane in zone. And no, he will fall. Pushed away. And zone is going to do massive, massive damage. I do not think Zane is going to see any more play so far. And down he will go. That Octane. And now back over to Dalton here. Team number 13 sitting pretty well off. But team 8 not doing in good shape. Void Sniper and Walker. And that will be the end of their story here in game number 2. A little bit of a misplay there. But two teams remaining. Five people missed. Wreck, Ram, Dalton. Not in too bad of shape. And there they have it. There's the engagement. The initial team four does have the peacekeeper on flatline. But they are on the vertical angle as well. They could just wait zone out here. And I believe that's exactly what they're going to do. Getting a little bit more of a wide angle here. This team's going to make the rotate with the octane. And I love this play. Getting out in front. Man, wreck. Just getting, getting the blunt force of those bullets there. Those clones coming away. And now, it might be a two-on-two -two here. This final play on this bridge. Could they do it? Still a lot more. Looking for it. There it has it. Range. Looking for this final K. A two-on-one. Could it be? And there you have it, team number four is going to take home your first place position in game number two. Wow, what an incredible playoff by those three teams there. It seemed like each team had their own uh, individual level under that bridge, and it just seemed whoever had that high ground was going to play it out. Teams that had to make a rotate from the low ground out with that octane, as you see, got caught in that fire, and ultimately they did end up losing. They got out too late, and now... This team is going to take that position of number one. And great job there. And we're going to see the stats here pretty, pretty soon. Hopefully. And there you have it. Team number four, 13 kills. That's going to sit pretty well with them. And now team number 13, six kills. Team number eight in, in third with seven kills. And the rest of the teams rounding that out as well. Team number five has done a lot, a lot of aggressive pushing. And I believe they've uh, averaged out about 10 kills per two games so far and again it is who gets to 50 points first with a match point 
So again, ladies and gentlemen, we will wait here. This is the final for your scissor tail division. Team number five, 13 kills finishing. Team number 14 in second place with two kills. Team number two in third place with eight and the rest of them rounding that out as well. Team number four with 12 kills. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will take a break for just a second to hopefully catch a breather and let my voice rest for just a second as we get into game number three. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We will be right back into the action. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back from our break. We're going to get into uh, the games here pretty soon, but I do want to catch you up to speed on uh, the 
apex stats right now and so this will be for the upper division of play here as you can see team number eight i don't think those stats have actually updated just yet hang on let me let me see ah there we go okay so now team number eight is sitting at first with 37 points 18 kills void sniper zane and moonwalker i believe they were the winners of this last game as well or no they placed um uh, they placed third. Excuse me. Okay. So, yeah. Team number eight placed third. They've done a great job there of pushing their team fights. And now team number four sitting in uh, second place with 25 points, 13 kills. And team uh, number one ratting out the top three with Micro, Leviathan, and Dally with 22 and 16 kills as well. And taking a look over at the other division of play, we should see maybe if we can find it team uh number 13 hang on we got a lot of stuff going on on this computer maybe there we have it okay yeah there we go now i gotta update this real quick this is a, the scissor tail division finally updated team number five is gonna see 42 points in total they are off to a very, very hot start. And again, it is the first team to match point, which is 50. And I repeat, 50 points. So in two games, team number five has done absolute work, getting 23 kills and multiple top three finishes. So shout out to those guys. Great job. And trying to challenge that is team number three of uh, Faulty Window, Toxify, and Fabulous Sailor with 29 points, 13 kills as well there. And team number two, rounding out that third place top spot, 28 points, 12 kills in total with uh, Coffee Monkey, Young, Capslot, and I'm just going to call you Phantom. Phantom Mill. Phantom Mill? Yeah, we'll call you that. So, sorry again. If any of these are butchered, I, in fact, am not the best at English. That is true. And so... We are jumping back over to the games here. And again, to shout out our boys in the booth. I don't actually think neither of them there. They're out in the lobby. But shout out to those guys. They are jumping between the LS POVs for the night, showing the high school players and showing off their abilities through Apex. And now again, our uh, very own Stephen Harris, the moderator there with a little toolbar next to his name, is trying to keep you updated on all the scores if I do not catch anything he should have it there in chat. And again, to take a look at our boys in the gold room. There they are over that footage. Say hi, guys. Big wave. There you are. There's your boys and a dad from him as well. Great job. Shout out to those guys. They've come in on their days off to stream for these high school kids. And so, ladies and gentlemen, still stay tuned as we will look into game number three of this high school state final.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to, I believe this is now game number three of the state champion for high school Apex. You're looking at your upper division here. And again, as you saw the stat line earlier, earlier I believe Epic Yellow is the driving force for uh, the upper division. So definitely look out for them later on. And so now after we got all of our picks, we'll be right back into the action on Olympus. I was wrong previously, so for, forgive me, the wrong map. But we are now on Olympus. Team number 12, Spooksies, uh, Ericus, and Greg. I'll call you Greg. G yeah, Greg. <laughs> we'll be rounding out team number 12. And now we'll take a look over here as everyone again has their predetermined drop spot everyone will be flying there we'll see a lot a lot of action at the more uh, popular POIs and hopefully some of these uh, lower teams can get get some of the bigger teams out of the way early maybe that might be the way they have to do it some of the lower teams scrambling to get some points get some uh, higher level placements they might just have to uh, jump on the bigger teams early and hopefully take out their presence so they can win later on in the matches but we'll see how that plays out. A Conduit Bangalore and an Octane. Again, a uh, usual pick. Void Sniper, Moonwalker, and Zane, your team number eight. I believe they are leading uh, the upper division. Yes, they are. That's your leading team right there. And now again, taking, not doing too much early. They have another team in their POI, which they could potentially... Could potentially push and take out. And I'm curious to see what they'll do here. And yes, they will. In fact, just the opposite. The other team's going to push their way. And Moon taking a lot of damage early. Void Sniper. Getting about half health. And now those Bangalore Smokes. Concealing that Conway. Running in blind. They have to take him out. I believe they pick up one on him. And now it's a three on two. Smoke's clear. And the rest of that team. Gaming goes down. Team number nine was eliminated. And man, what a presence here by team number eight. Switching over to team number 13 in sixth place, I believe. Yes, it'll be Dalton, Rick, and Mist on their own respective POIs. And it seems to be most of the uh, most of the engagements so far in this upper division have kind of stalled out, as you can see. All the uh, different colors across that map there have been spread out, and all the teams are now looking to rotate after that initial drop. Taking a different look at this upper division angle, team number four battling it out against a Gibraltar, looking to get the melee kill, and yes, they will. Team number two falls to team number four. Now, taking a look around at some of these different angles, Bloodhound does get that sonar scan off. And it's chucking nades. This star could deal damage. And yes, they do. Headshot. Going to look to be the entry there for his own team. Team number 14. Team four. Being the receiving end of that aggression range is down. And now this Bangalore fighting for their life. To stay alive. And I believe team number four is your second place here in the upper division. Yes, they are. They're going to see very much aggression early. Taking that Mastiff. Finishing off that Gibraltar. Knockdown shield is down. He has two down in front of him. Hot take. Going to have one there. And then team 14 is eliminated by team number four. Picking up his downed teammates and a kill leader. Could, I think is on team number six. I'm not quite sure. Didn't see it for long enough there. But now yet again, team 16 is getting themselves into the mix. Team number 16 is uh, sitting pretty low on the leaderboard right now. They're gonna, you're going to see a lot of aggression out of them, especially in these later maps. This might be a little bit more to their ability to play. And hopefully make some moves over here to team number 13. Snorlax. And now back to Hot Take. 
Now let's jump over to the scissor tail division. Let's see what's going on here. 13 squads and looks like Toxic going to get a finish there down with the alternator. Toxic with a Wraith and that teleport ultimate there. And no fabulous Sailor is going to have two of his teammates go down and have maybe a little bit of a finish. And they will take that. And again, taking a look at the Scissor Tail Division, Team 5 being a driving force with 42 points. They could possibly see themselves uh, have that have that match point here right after this game. And know that Arkstar flying in. That Gordon kid. <laughs> love that name there. Trying to save the rest of his teammates. Moving around behind this castle ultimate. Trying to save his buddy. He did eventually pick him up. I mean, now again, just searching around, trying to find the real clone. Arc stars flying in and frag nades. Gets dealt quite a bit of damage. We're going to use the Phoenix kit and go back up. Unfused. Looking to get damage. R301 in hand. More clones come out. And now it's just a straight guessing game. Of who is who. Pick the right one if you can. And now this Sentinel in the hands of Team 15. The only one left. Champ Jupiter. Running away. The one setting off all of those clones earlier. Now he's going to have to make his sneaky exit. To try to save his team's position here. And it looks like Team 20 is just going to rat it out. I like this play. They are sitting at... Um, at... 12th on the leaderboard looks like warlock ego and a little bird gonna just try to fight for those position points and now looking at team number four in this standard division taking shots with that alternator can't seem to find his target but his teammate is there to pick up that kill for him and now around the way seeing 301 z Getting dealt very heavy damage. And now taking a look at that Gibraltar. Trying to run away. Reposition. And that Gibraltar is going to fall. Team number six is out of the way in game number three. And now that again is your scissor tail division back over. Maybe as soon as this Watson can get the kill. And no, back over to the upper division of play. 11 squads left. Wow, it's pretty uh, pretty on normal there. Almost half the lobby is gone in this uh, second, second ring. So a lot of aggression coming in from your players. And again, things seem to be pretty, uh, pretty well spread out. But Team 5 finding action. Apex Legend using that R301. And now switching over to the Havoc. Trying to get damage. But I don't think the rest of his team is with him just yet. Team 5. The teammate Soup. Looking to try to cut off this enemy team. Getting pretty well uh, on position. Still again looking. Is going to rotate back with his teammate Wookie. And team number 1. In upper division has been eliminated. And team number three as well. The number two team has been eliminated in this upper division. Now that leaves room for any other team to walk right through and take some uh, standings on the leaderboard. On gateway, Snorlax. 301 fully kitted out. That's a beautiful weapon there. And what is aim from Snorlax? Great job there, buddy. All of yours. All of your shots landed in that horizon saying, peace out. I'm going to the sky. Team Rocket blasting off again, but comes right back down. Detected by that Bloodhound. And now again, Snorlax being an absolute laser beam. Now going to hit this zip line and going to send over to this team using thermite nades. Flying going to try to get the backside of this enemy team on vert. But... He seems to do as well. That conduit in no man's land. Using that gateway. And I think they're going to chase. But no. It seems that they're going to play it safe here. 
They dealt enough damage, and they might see them later on in this tournament. And now Zane, team number eight, dealing loads and loads of damage on that team there. And now over to team number four in this upper division. Looks to be setting at number two. Range. Hot take. And Lisan. Doing a great job. Max level for uh, Lisan. This Bangalore here. Rotating into Meadow. Along with a pretty well kitted out team as well. Is that a boat check over there? I believe they marked a boat check and they did. I don't know if they're going to pick it up or not, but a red weapon is definitely a red weapon, but it doesn't matter in the hands of Lee Son as he takes his triple take and is almost surgical with it. And now sitting in that rolling thunder and the rest of his team is going to push with this decoy out in front, staying alive. And here they go. They're going to get the finish. Hopefully with that purple knockdown shield does end up to stay alive, getting these conduits out of the way so that he's not caught off with the rest of his team. Now, feeling the pressure from a third party. Using an octane pad. Shooting away. Flatline. Connecting. Using some more smokes. Getting his team out of there. Great, great movement by this team. But man, again, that conduit. Using those batteries to just pretty much uh, separate that own team there. Very, very annoying to deal with. But very effective. And now it seems team number four is going to take refuge inside of this building here and not try to do much. As we see across the way there, this other team is going to be pushing in. Back over to this POV. It seems now team number four getting dealt. Lots of damage. Round three of the ring is going to be coming in. And let's take another look at another POV from this upper division. Switching over to Xenos, Rebecca, and now to Team 5, Apex Legend. They have a pretty pretty well standing in the upper division. They're sitting in 7th place right now. But Team 6 at, at position number 5, Snorlax. Getting some damage there with that flat line. Or excuse me, whatever gun that was. And now jumping around here. Again, we see a lot of fights, especially differing in maps. Not such wide open Olympus is a very very much smaller map so these rings are gonna be a lot deadlier as this round progresses team 15 being a very very early presence they are sitting at 10th overall right now looking to find a very very high position in um in this round Again, switching over to Snorlax's Horizon. And now, seeing a lot more players fall. Team number six loses one of their own. And is a teammate of Snorlax. Bog takes the fall there. It's pretty safe off. But I think the rest of this team is going to push. And they will. And they will get the K on Bog. And now, it is a three on two. And team eight looking for blood. Void Sniper finds some shots on that purple armor. And they will choose to push. Zane with that octane again speed versus power and now they're going to use that zip line to get out of there but it is shot away and now their exit is been taken away team eight finishing the job here looking for all the damage that they can they just have one to knock down and that will do it they find another k and void sniper going to take that loot there and now We'll take some more looks at other teams. It seems we see one more falling apart little by little. Team number four still has a full squad remaining. Sitting off pretty well on gear gear range with that triple take. If they peek, he's dead. Oh, doesn't quite connect there. Getting to the back off on that just a little bit and stay with his team. Octane in that jump pad. Getting back to their original position we saw earlier. I like this middle this middle take that they have going. They're going to try to pressure uh, Zane and Void Sniper on the other side of that wall that they have to rotate around through, and that zone is pulling into them. But they got to be watchful of people like that flying through. Just trying to get 
try to get any damage or k's in that they can they see a wingman down below and they might choose to uh go for it but here's another team landing range getting some shots off finally connecting with one on the other side of this rocks and that enemy team down below is dealing with a headache of that zone pushing in behind and they have nothing left to do but rotate through again team number four just pressuring down low Looking, trying to mark his team. Again, staying on that backside. Returning fire, finally. But Lee Sun does have that rolling thunder. He could choose to uh, pinch this enemy team down here in a little bit of a bind as soon as that storm comes in throughout that rolling thunder to make to deal damage really either way. I would choose the ladder and go with a rolling thunder, though. Which will not do as much damage as a zone will, especially in later, this late in... This late in the round. And now that Horizon. Trying to get on that little walkway there. On the other side of that tree. They have a, uh, a good spot. And now landing back is Hot Take. With the Octane. He could choose to push this team. To try to cut them off from rotation. On that Black Market. Now again. Every site is aimed towards that enemy team over there. And so is team number five with that bow check. They do have a man missing. Wookiees is with this duo. So they're going to have to play that smart. And now team number eight again. Sane, Void Sniper, and Walker finally decide to push in. And it is just a shooting range absolutely here. Down low gets a pick on one. Zane almost has two. Can he get another one? And that stream is going a little bit slow. Going to have to change away from him. And it looks like Team 6 is going to be eliminated. Zane is going to pick up Bog. And now we have here Wildflower Meadow. Man, that POV is kind of really messed up. So now we'll take an overhead look. Void Sniper. Lease on. Team number 8, I believe, is taking... Excuse me, Team number 4 is taking very much advantage of... This zone, and now down below, it's a fight to survive. And now, man, still that POV is really, really messed up. Sorry about that. But now Wookiees will fall as well. Team number five is eliminated this final zone. And here comes the push. Lisan in range. Narrowing the distance between the two. And it seems to be that team number four is going to take that game and now over here to the scissor tail division they have finally finished out that game and man what a triumph finish for team number four they needed that to hopefully overtake team eight for zane moonwalker and boyd sniper so again ladies and gentlemen we will try to keep you updated on all of the totals so far and again it looks like it has not updated yet but that was game number three, and we saw many, many, many great plays there. And again, we're going to take a break before we see that. We're going to see these stats here. Match number four of the upper division, 25 kills from team number four. They absolutely popped off in that game. Shout out to team number four. Team eight, 14 kills, rounding out second place. Team five, one kill in third place. Team six, Six kills in fourth place. And team five, one kill. Team number 15. And so yet again, we are going to take a break. And we might see a few match points here. We will keep you updated. And we'll be right back into the action. Stay tuned.
Hello everyone and welcome back to your Oklahoma High School Apex State Champion Finals. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say that in our upper division, we have had two teams reach the minimum requirement to win their division. Those two teams are team number four, Hotok, Lizon, and Range. They have 60... Yeah, 62 points in total, so they reached that 50-point mark. And Team 8 and 2nd, Moonwalker, Void Sniper, and Zane have 60 points. So if we see Team number 4 or Team number 8 in our upper division take home the first place win, they will be the 2024 Oklahoma High School State Champions in Apex. In, in our in our scissor tail division, we only have one team that is in place to win this entire thing. And that is team number five of Podge, uh, Sticks, and I'm that dude. They have 67 points, a great feat there with 36 kills in total. And so now yet again, we will see that on Olympus will be the final match maybe for these for these teams. And again, this is the upper division. So now Zane taking a look at them. Spooks dealing damage early. Void Sniper, Moonwalker, team number eight. Being very, very aggressive here. Zane, the Octane for his team, has done great job. And now Void Sniper falls. And Zane and the rest of his team goes down as well. The only one left is Moonwalker. We could see an early exit from the very top competitive team. If Moonwalker does not recover one of his teammates, it could potentially be over for him. Any certain push right now could mean life or death for team number eight. And I think they will do so. Those Thermite Nades coming in, trying to deal damage. They're going to have to salvage something. Zane almost falls. But no, it seems that team eight finally straps it together. And now gets his teammate Zane back in the building. And man, what a save. But no, they are here to finish out team number eight. The enemy team stuck inside of this room with nowhere to go. It is hold the line. And they take down the one on Horizon. And what a play of Flick. Voice Sniper searching around Zane being a <laughs> pretty much just a block, a roadblock for that enemy team. And now team eight is finally on the offensive. Void Sniper, the only one left for his team. Very dangerously low. He's going to have to heal. Do they find it? He's looking for a huge med kit. Or maybe they look for the revive, but B's aggressive. Team 8 has to stay alive. Bluffing with very, very low health. Void Sniper. Can he be the saving grace for his team? The only one left, and now they decide to peek. That Pathfinder... Dealing lots of damage, but going to look to get his teammate up. And now in the room, and team number eight takes a early leave in this final match. So they no longer have an opportunity to win the title this game. And now team four is your only competing team for the state champion in Apex for 2024. Range, Hotok, and Lizon are going to be the ones to watch this game. And so now, after that astonishing early leave from that leading, that second place team, we're going to take a look over to our standard division, where in this division, the only team that has a chance right now is Team 5. With Sticks, Podge, and I'm that dude, and they see a lot of aggression early. This Watson... Dealt some damage, but no, connects with that red peacekeeper. And it's going to fall on that Gibraltar and get the down for him. And now the rest of his team realizes this, and they're going to sweep up. And Team 6 has been eliminated. And man, a few more kills for Team Number 5. And the only other team that is close, Team Number 4, could possibly be hunting them because they are one point away from reaching that match point. And they are, and we're going to see that. ADS. Scoping in, looking, but no, get some damage dealt. That longbow, these are the two top teams right here facing off. One of them is going to come out on top if they decide to play their cards right, and one might have a chance and the other may not, and we'll see. 
Team 5 standing back, waiting, getting some health. And now ADS lurking around there with the longbow, trying to get some early shots, but wow, that, hor that horizon just found him. And now they're going to take the zip out of there. Shooting down that balloon. Can he get to the top? No, he cannot. Podge out in front. Going to be that rotation 14 there. And now Team 12 facing some heavy decisions. That Wraith getting some teleports on for his team. And now, man. It has been a very exciting game. I believe this is four now. So far. As we see a very, very aggressive push on these top teams getting major heat early. And that's pretty much to be expected. And now Warlock finding just a wide open lane for the rest of his team. Going to send out those clones. Play dead, basically. And it's a one on three and not much you can do there. And they're going to level up in some e Evo. And now that things have died down over here just a little bit, we'll take a look back at the upper division to where one team remains. Team number four has a chance to take home the state title. Now, this Bangalore Octane has been a very, very, very good pick, I would like to say, especially uh, in, these later, in these later matches. I believe they stayed the same pretty much throughout the whole entire, uh, whole entire game. Along with that, um, man, I'm going blank here. With that Mirage. There we go. That's that character. That Mirage. And so now using that Rolling Thunder, Lizon going to try to pressure the teams up in front. They might take the zip there, and they will. And here comes the damage. And that Rolling Thunder taking out half health through almost everyone. Down goes one for Lizon and trying to finish them off. That triple take been a crazy, crazy gun in the hands of Team 4. And they will finish them off. I believe only one more member remains. And there they is. The alternator will catch up. And Team number two is eliminated from this match and yet again on a very very vertical angle they're gonna find that their triple takes long bows mozambiques maybe not the mozambiques a little bit of a close range but these weapons are gonna play into their favor especially if they want to take this zone into account so marking the teams down low they're gonna play it a little bit slower now that they have finally um that they finally got some kills on their hands. Especially with the other team. They're just looking to win. That's all that they have to do. So you're going to see a little bit different play style from team number four here. Which I believe is Epic Yellow, if I am not mistaken. Again, that POV not really working for us. So we're going to stick over here with team number four. Again, just playing back and seeing what they can do. Hotok taking a little bit of damage, but it was just from his Octane. And he has his jump pad as well. I'll see that play into their favor. And they're going to rotate and they're going to find another enemy team taking some shots. That long, or excuse me, that triple take. Going to be a very, very deadly weapon. Staying back, again, playing to their favor with these these long-range engagements. They're going to see a little bit of return fire. Going to take some damage range, getting uh, all of his shield taken away. He's going to pop some clones and heal up for just a second along with the rest of his team. And now ring number two is closing in the final 15 seconds. And we're going to hop over here to the scissor tail division and see how they are doing. Now team number one, decal. With 11 squads, 32 people remaining. Sees a new castle. And now they're going to push Peacemaker. Deadly up close. Very surgical. Gets a 99 shot on him. And he's going to finish off two for that team there. Man, that Revenant dealing great amount. Great amount? How about great amount of damage? And now in this scissor tail division, let me remind you. That the only team fighting now for that state champion place is team number five. Hodge, Sticks, and I'm that dude. 1203. With the golden helmet, again, recharges, uh, passively recharges ult, doesn't hit the shot with the longbow. 
but ADS does not choose to um does not choose to roll in just yet and the headshots finally finding some damage there that Bangalore gonna be be a driving factor for that team there switching over to the horizon on team five sticks looking back with the 301 dealt some damage and now team 20 warlock little bird and ego not quite where they wanted to be uh, i believe they are in 14th place right now but still giving it all and competing and that's really all that matters and now 301 ego finding their place here team 20 looking using that mirage and now sticks off the zip but Podge goes down for team number five, but I'm That Dude is there to revive him. And no, I'm That Dude gets shredded absolutely from that enemy team. And now you might see the reigning team number five fall off. Sticks, the only one left. Did they fall to team number 20 there? I think they might have. Wow. And now the head team, team number five, is down to one member only in this scissor tail division. Styx is going to have to look to rat one out and hopefully um, try to get at the top of the leaderboard there. But now back over to the upper division, still looking at team number four, Range, Hotok, and Lizon. Lizon does have that rolling thunder, which I'm very curious to see how he uses here in just a second. They really haven't changed positions too, uh, too very much they're still staying pretty vertical, taking their long-range engagements. Nine squads remaining, 24 people left in total. Communicating with this team, Lizon's going to rotate back. They do spot an enemy team. Micro, Leviathan, getting shots, and Dally. Going to take some bullets from Team 4 here. Now that Rolling Thunder using that. They're going to try to look to keep pressure and wow gets broken they are all within range here that car and now up top hotok dealing damage with that octane setting up the smokes for his retreat and now team four being leviathan at the mercy of that team another rolling thunder coming in forcing team four off their mark but whoa down goes range and down goes Lizon. Team 4 could be out of the running here. And Hotok, the Octane, flying away. And no! Team number 4 is gone. And the two top teams in the upper division have not a chance anymore to take away that state championship tonight. Or this evening, rather. I'm getting my times mixed up. But here we go. And now it's anyone's game. The closest team in third place is team number 6 with 30 points. And they could possibly see an, an entry to the match point. But man, what place from the other um, from the other teams in this division to realize that it's lose or go home at this point. So they really have to hunt out those top teams to get at least a fighting chance. And Leviathan caught off guard by Apex. Team 5 and just getting shredded with that 301. Dally playing close. I don't think he's rotated out, but that Phoenix kit... Barely gets off in time, and those Bangalore smokes are the only thing saving him, and he will not end up getting away. Apex in hot pursuit still with that horizon taken to the skies. Leviathan finally gets away by just a hair. And again, Team 5 looking for kills here. Trying to hopefully take their place in this match point. Again, remind you, this is the upper division and in these final few circles, we'll see a lot going on. Team 9. Creator. Dealing some damage. Conduit tries to pick that corner. Peacekeeper. And down goes team number 9. Divin Divinity. The only one left does have two. Grimberger and Bulldogs. And this final few circles. Team number five sitting at place number five on the leaderboard, 23 points. So they might or might not uh, be at match point after this one. It depends on how they play. Now they're going, that's why they're looking for so many gunfights right now is to get those extra few points and hopefully place at number one for this remaining of the game. 
Taking to the skies there. Team number 13 with Miss, the only one left to their name. And I think Team 13 is going to round out the top six, being at that sixth position. And Mist gets found out. And he barely, and I mean barely, has zone there. He's backed up in a little bit of a corner. And I don't... He's going to have to take some severe damage. He's going to have to get out in front. But Mist and Wookiees and Apex are there for that rotate. And again, three squads left. Seven people remaining. And here's the push by Team 5. Hitting the ground. They're going to send out some smokes. And here is the top angle for this gunfight. Goat and Wookiees. Miso Soup staying at the low ground. Watching it use that octane pad. Brick Team 7 going to be the, the defensive team now. Banana. Taking some shots with the longbow. Doesn't quite connect. Mortar. Feeling the blows of team number five. And now... Looking with that wingman through the smoke. Very deadly. If he decides to connect. Again, yet again, let's get a little bit of over top POV. There is three squads remaining. Mind you, that uh, I believe missed is one ratting it out right now. So we could see a, uh, a celebrity appearance by him later. But again, it's really just... It's a tower, tower defense here. Everyone is posted up, taking long-range fights. Nobody really wants to peek. We'll see how Zone plays this out. And again, those Bangalore smokes still providing lots of cover. Apex, Wookiees, and Soup. Standing strong while Mortar, Brick, and Banana are on that side. And now Banana, I believe, sees Mist over on this side. And yes, Mist will fall. And now it is two teams remaining. He was trying to sneak his way through there, but doesn't end up doing it. And Brick heavily damaged along with Mortar there. And now Apex is going to push. Going to try to maybe block off Brick. And getting into the personal POVs. Apex throwing those Thermite nades. Breaking away that horizon. One minute left before the final ring is closed. And Wookie still has a Rolling Thunder in his back pocket. Now down below on the low ground. Banana will fall. And Mortar and Brick the only ones left. Look at when the R99 has to run away. Mortar in no position to survive. I believe he will go down as well. And now it's a one on three scenario for team number five. To hopefully take the first place of this game. And now they're going to get the final knock. And team number five is going to be your first place finishers for that upper division. Now back over here to the scissor tail division. Three teams remain and an unknown amount of players. Looking at seven. This caustic young with coffee monkey and phantom. Two full teams. Or excuse me. One full team and two duos. Will be the final there. And now looking. Can't quite get through. The aim slowed down by that Watson fence there. Does get the finish on Ascent. And now a 3 2 and a 1. Decal being the solo for Team 1. The Revenant. Just trying to take pop shots really right now. Not going to look to get into much action. If he plays his cards right, he's going to have to see that both of these teams have to fight it out. And he does, dealing lots and lots of damage. And it looks like they're just going to turn around and focus him. But they have another team on their back to deal with. This Watson fence is dealing a great deal of protection. But that Caustic Mine and the gas standing there. He can't stay there long. Decal, it might be the end for him. But no, down goes team number one. For the Scissor Tail Division. And now it is a two on two. Team number two. Excuse me, a three on two. And they see them up in the rafters. Riding it away, it's, excuse me, a three on one. I was wrong the entire time trying to get away. And team number two will be your first place finishers for the scissor tail division. And now team number two actually was not at match point. So team two will actually be in the running for that state title as well. But neither team 
None of the teams at match point in either division have taken home the championship yet, so we will see another game of Apex to come for both divisions of play. And so again, looking at the final stats there for the upper division, team number five taking home 13 kills to their name, team number seven, 14, and team 13 rounding out the top three with only a singular kill. And here is the Scissor Tail Division, team number two with six kills, team 14 with two, and team number one, wow, they popped off with 15 kills, along with that plus for being in the top three, so great job to them. And so yet again, as soon as everything updates, we will look to give you a look on the screen, and I think it is coming to you right about in a few seconds, right about now, here we go, okay. So the Scissor Tail Division team number five still sitting at 67 points. Now they are still officially at match point. Or excuse me, team five. Team number four rounding out. They are uh, hopefully looking to get in the match point. I think that's the old stats. Let me try to refresh there. That's the upper division. Here is the lower division. Yes, okay, there we go. So now here are the updated stats. Uh, Scissor Tail Division team number five, 73 points. Did not uh, take away the win there. So they are still in the running. And now team number two has uh, qualified themselves for match point as well as team four and team three. We have a four-way tie at the moment. If anyone of team number five, team number two, team number four, or team number three can win this next match, they will be the state champions for the scissor tail division. Now looking over here towards the upper, we'll see it's almost uh, pretty much the same team number four. And team number eight still in the running. Both of those actually took a early leave. So they'll fight it out yet again. So standard division, a very packed uh, winning bracket there. But for upper, or excuse me, standard division, pretty, pretty packed bracket. But upper division still sitting at the normal two. So ladies and gentlemen, we again are going to take a break. And hopefully look to see y'all in what could be a championship game next up on the line so ladies and gentlemen stay tuned we will be right back into the action Thank you. 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back into the action. I'm not even quite sure what game this is just yet. I have lost track, but I do know one thing, that in this upper division, we have almost, I believe that is two different, yes, we have two different teams fighting it out for the state champion, team number four, and again, team number eight. Be on the lookout for those. Moonwalker, Zane, Void Sniper on team number eight. They took an early leave in the previous game on Olympus. They got pushed early and were able uh, to fall. But team number four, uh, Hotok, Range, Lisan made it a little bit further in to the, into the match, but ended up ultimately taking the fall as well. So they'll be battling it out in the upper division for the uh, high school, Oklahoma High School State Tournament. And now this subdivision, this standard division, I keep calling it standard, scissor tail division, excuse me. Switching over here to their POV, not much is going on, but we have, I believe that is one, two, three, four different teams fighting it out in the standard division whenever they get to play. So we will see that here pretty, pretty soon. And so again, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching at home, please sure, make sure to shout out your team this they could potentially go home with a win tonight so we want to see your comments say i was here 2024 state champs whatever you want to you know keep it clean but say whatever you want to say in the comments we'll make sure to shout them out and show them the love that they deserve and again taking the pov of team number four it's going to be hotok range and lisa i feel like i said their names a million times this uh this tournament but still, they are great players, and they deserve to be shown. And we are seeing a mashup of teams over here. It seems that, um, I believe, four different teams there are fighting it out. Grimberger gets the shots down, and now here's Snorlax with that 301. A very solid rifle. But no, Snorlax, double team, Horizon gets to the vert. And now running away, down goes their Pathfinder. Sweetest Bugle gets in on the door. For that enemy player, his teammate get it, getting in his way just a little bit there. And now, Snorlax recovering the only one left for his team. Realizes that they're in. And now, they get the thirst on Bog. And he's, Snorlax is going to rotate away. They're going to try to take low ground. Hopefully get the res. There's the enemy player. He has not yet thirsted him. And now Snorlax is just going to dip away to low ground. I like that play. Still has um, still has his other teammate down. I'm not sure if he's going to look to get him just yet. 
excuse me, have their, their cards. Haven't had their banners just yet. And now Team 11 being the uh, aggressing team there. Falling down to where that horizon went. And he might be ratting it out. Professor, Team 11. Seems to be in this upper division. Team 11 is sitting at number 11. And Team 16, Xenos. Clag down, but Rebecca taking lots of damage. That Gibraltar goes down for Team 16. And now Xenos, the only one left alive. Can he run away? Hold your ground there. And no, Team 16 will take an exit in this match. And now again, looking through this map, we're going to see a lot of teams here fighting early on Broken Moon. Again, we're changing, kind of changing up the maps fairly decently. We've been through three maps so far. So staying on their toes and realizing the map choices that they are playing with. And now, is that a... Uh, Am I seeing this right? I have seen a crypto here in the state champ finals. I like to see that. That is a very, very different, more of an Intel op or character, but still very cool to see. Team number 19, where they stand in the upper division, standing at 18 on leaderboard. Following his teammate there, just kind of having fun, spooking around. And now back over here to Team 6 and Snorlax. The lone horizon that you've seen. The rest of his team got shot down earlier. But this, he was able to make it out. And now Team 6, not in a match point scenario though. For this upper division. Still trying to find a way to get their 50 points. Now everything has kind of stalled out there. So we will take a look over to the scissor tail division, which still has not started. I don't know what's going on. We'll take a look back. We might be singling these games out, which is even better. That makes my mind a lot less complicated and a lot more straightforward. Here, team number 12 in upper division. Greg, as I've called him many times before, bling on the wraith and sees twos in front of him. Hemlock. Has a teleport and chooses to use it. But no. Decides to just get away with the phase. And now, sitting here, ADF looking on that ballistic. And I'm joined by one of our very own Southeastern Apex players, Mr. Fang. One of the guys in the booth. Say hello, Fang. Hello, hello, hello. He will be casting with me, and I think he will go away as soon as that uh, Scissor Tail Division uh, begins their match. But man, what have you seen so far in this high school tournament that makes you say, wow, these guys can really, really play? Uh, Team 5 for sure has been uh, astounding. Every time I put, put them up, uh, Horizon's been doing work. Absolutely. And man, we see early engagement from Team 20 here, but Death loses two of his teammates. Fitting name there, and Team 12... Picking him off as he goes through that zip line. And now chasing Team 12. Needs these kills to keep their chances alive. And that poor Octane making a break for it. And I don't think he can do anything sniffed out by that Ballistic. And now the Scissor Tail Division is finally starting. So we'll be with them in a moment. But still handling this upper division now. Yet again, Team 12 is uh, running low, I believe, with one player left. And now Team 10, Grimmy, Pamby, and DJ Mario, 99, love that name. We'll see to find some action. I don't think we've seen much of this team really at all in the uh, upper division. They are see team number 12, or excuse me, team number 10, sitting in 17th place. Things not really going the way that they wanted to, but ultimately playing and um, loving the game so far. And now still looking for the rotates. Team number four, again, to keep your eyes on. They are the number one team looking for match point. If they win this game, they take home the state title. Bangalore Rolling Thunder in the back pocket with 
the octane and the mirage as well and they find some action early here's a triple take smoking it away deals significant damage but takes some in return and now those decoys coming out for mirage and this octane gonna look to catch up with his team he might get vertical here i'd love to see the jump pad but he might use that for an escape for his team a get out of jail free card if you will and now still, I like the way that Team 4 is really picking their guns and their um, and their utilities here because they're playing a lot more long-range gunfights because they can challenge other teams to hit their shots. And it seems this enemy team is chasing. And it doesn't look to see... It doesn't seem to be in their favor. So now Team 4 will still stay strong. And yet again, look for some kills here. I believe another Rolling Thunder coming in there doesn't quite connect with Team 4 like they was intending. But still sitting pretty well. Only level 2 armor so far. Which could be a little bit concerning, especially later on. Does have an epic helmet. But if you don't have the rest of the gear, it really won't matter. Now again, Team 4... <laughs> trying to get in the door there got caught up just a little bit now we'll take another pov of the upper division team number eight your team in second place right now with zane void sniper and uh moonwalker con with bangalore octane pretty similar and they are playing a almost a far back side of zone with two adjacent teams right beside them which they're gonna have to take pop shots at here to make their position known. Longbow in the hands of Banana in Team 7. And now we're looking to get active. Team 7. Swinging in here. We might decide to back up. Charge Sentinel. Could he do it? Doesn't quite connect. And a Sentinel and a Spitfire in hand. Trying to get up. No! Doesn't land the shots he was looking for. Now inside Mortar. Contested by Team 10 here. And they are dealt heavy damage from every angle they can imagine. Banana getting out of dodge there with those smokes. And now he's going to look for the flank maybe. Team 7 contested by Team 10. It's a battle of wits and brawn here. We'll see how each team plays out. I think Team 10... Decided to back up, and they did, to try to not uh, place a little bit better in the leaderboards. But now Brick, taking lots of damage, going to take that zip and get out of there. And in these final few circles, we'll see yet again taking a peek at Team 4. So let's, let's catch up with our Scissor Tail Division for just a second. And it seems that everyone just landed in. And that first uh, circle is still closing. And we'll just hop back over to the upper division until things get going over there. Taking shots on the octane. Triple take makes a mark. And here they go. Got to keep your foot on the gas. Octane goes fast. I'm like Dr. Seuss up in here. Again, not sitting best on uh, armor just yet. They still have level twos. But Yanked is going to go down. And I remember seeing him, Lizon, marking it off for his team. Again, team number four, the driving number one positioned team, to hopefully, in their favor, take home the title. Now, again, looking at all this Octane. Still with the triple take, you're going to see a lot more of... Um, strategic gunfights by team four they don't have to push they don't have to be crazy they're only worried about winning and that means that they're going to check their flanks they're going to watch they're going to keep their backs to zone and make sure they're checking their flank like they're doing their six and just hopefully chill out until they really have to make a move and hopefully zone ends up in their favor but no hotok gets popped just slightly but is able to recover I do not think any team is behind him. It's not showing up on the mini-map. 
And now that Bangalore is going to smoke it off. And around the bridge, Mirage is going to pop his and get out of the way. And there's the flat line spraying range severely low. And that Gibraltar will fall. Three in a familiar name here in the upper division. And now level up finally from team number four sitting at purple Evo. Mo mostly crucial to winning this game. King B going to take the fall to the hands of Hotok. And now getting damaged yet again. They're having a very close quarters combat, which I don't think they want to take whatsoever. And Hotok's going to go down. No, looking for the rotate out of it. And team number four is gone yet again. Man, a <laughs> they couldn't piece it together. And again, fighting it out. Taking a look over here to team 15. Unfortunate for the leading players. Let's get a different uh, point of view here from Mr. Goat. And now Team 10, the only one left, Grimmy Sergeant, dealing lots of damage to him. And they will pick up that eliminated team. Team 10 is now gone. Team 5 in the third place position isn't quite match point. But Team 12 not looking good either. And shredded is that Wraith. And down he goes. Team 7 has gone out of the game now. I don't know if Team 8, the other um, the other finalists are here. Yes, they are. Team number 8 could potentially take home this game. There are 7 squads remaining, 16 people. But a full set. Moonwalker, Void Sniper, and Zane. Your second place team. Again, pretty similar to uh, the loadouts of Team 4 and that Octane getting absolutely shredded off that jump pad. Dangerously, dangerously low. Going to get that care package and a boat check. Doesn't take it, though. And now Team 8 is not in a great position. They have crossfires on every single angle. Voice Sniper. That Bangalore getting dealt lots of damage. They finally do decide to pick up that boat check for later. But man, Team 8 is scrambling to hold this apart. Taking that jump pad, getting active, Foundry, now entering. They're going to try to take on team number three. Smiles yanked. Is down for their team. But damage coming in. Smiles. 301. Conduit batteries. That bow check in the hands of Zane could be deadly. But man, team eight is not in a good position whatsoever here. They have their backs to the zone. But they, do, they don't have any squads around them just yet. Being very, very passive. Team 3 on a little bit of the, um, of the top angle there. They might see, uh, they might see the win. Who knows? And here's the EV-8, the red weapon in the hands of Miso Soup. Getting the damage worth. And the only one left trying to rotate out. And Team 15 is now gone. 12 people remaining in this final circle. The single Dalton for Team 13 ratting it out. And now we could see a little bit more fighting underneath these rocks. Team 2. High rules, Kirby and Kuso sitting pretty well off. They are sitting in 15th place though. Smiles. Lerv. Still on this cru very crucial point of view here because anyone they have anyone rotating in, for, rotating in from their left, such as Team 2, they're going to have to eventually move into that position. But they also have Team number 8 on off to their right-hand side there. They're sitting and they're not wanting to make a move whatsoever. And then here you have Dalton peeking out. Knows that he's there and the rest of that team is going to look to push him. Team 2, can they kill the solo player? And I don't think they will. Team 2 getting the rotates in. And now Team 3 is going to get pressured. Team 8 still standing back. They're not having to do much here. Let's take another look at the overtop angle. As you can see there, all those teams are eventually going to fight here very, very soon. Team 8 decides to finally make their move. And now here they go to hopefully take home the state championship for this upper division. And now through the door, Octane looks to deal damage with that alternator. Can he take down one? No! Da damage! 
dealt heavily to him. Void Sniper has to take a step back. And now gets full health yet again. All four teams are in the mix and fighting. Bloodhound scans them out, sees where everyone is. Team 5, Apex, Miso. They have to back up. Void Sniper almost goes down. And they might decide to push. Playing underneath. This POI still waiting. Final circle here. This could be it. Taking a reset, taking a breather. Their win condition here is outlasting the rest of these teams. But they have team two. They could potentially get third partied. So I'm not liking the chances of team eight just yet. But they could pull. They could pull the victory here. Team five. Wookie Soup and Apex sitting in. They have one vertical on them, so they're checking all of their doors. Bloodhound Skin goes out, revealing them, and they might get pressure. And it seems that Team 8 is just chilling. They don't have to do anything crazy. They're just going to sit down here. Waiting. Void. Sending a nade up there. But Octane has the jump pad, and here they go! Off to vertical, have no clue! Zane goes down! One down for team number eight, now Moonwalker looking to finish it off, and down goes Moonwalker! Void Sniper, the only one left for his team, gets Zane up on the Octane. But now getting shredded down goes Zane, Void Sniper! Team eight, the only chance that they have left! Falls as well, and team eight is gone! So nobody takes home a state championship just yet! Team two looking to take number one position. They are on vertical, dealing damage. Gets the knock on one. And now Hyrule with the Newcastle. Trying to get this final kill. Three. Excuse me, two teams remaining with three people each. Just Horizon looks to get Vert. And now they're going to get rid of that ult. And try to look away. Team 5 has one down. And they're battling it out. This kill leader here. Apex, 10 kills. Tries to get the box. But it seems that Team 2 has this all covered up. And this final match here. Caustic. Excuse me, Catalyst. Throwing nades. Trying to slow him down. Does have it and will use the alt there. And now walking through. Zone on the back. Newcastle out in front there. Horizon flying high, trying to stay alive and could take position. Curvy tries to get the down and no, Curvy dies, but Team 2 will clean it up for that final match. And now what a play there. So nobody takes home a state title just yet. Back over to the Scissor Tail Division, 11 squads, 30 people remaining. And now for your Scissor Tail Division, we have four different teams fighting it out for this state championship. Now, Team 5 is a leading force here. As you can see, Dude, Podge, and Sticks are going to be the ones that you could possibly root for. It seems that everyone's kind of stuck in this tunnel here, which is very interesting, especially to see where this next zone will go. That Watson clearing out many, many lines of sight and entry for the rest of their teams. And now here's damage. Gets up one. Decal. Shooting out those Watson fences. One by one. Get him out of the way. Decal has, chose, has seen to be an amazing player there. And Jaden will fall to DJ. And now again, all the teams are pretty well spread out at the moment. We have almost five Different teams in that tunnel. And that could mean chaos here very, very soon. She does miss vacuum. And uh, we call you OR. Sorry if I butcher your name, but OR there. Taking looks, dealing lots. With the flat line, decides to rotate out. But that catalyst on that door, denying entry... Again, the controllers in this map are very crucial because if your team is not in good position and doesn't have an area map to where they know is secure, any team can rush in and pick you off in just an instant, leaving you without a shadow of, of a doubt disappointed in your placements. Now, team number five 
Goes to Mastiff. R301. Gets very, very good shots in. Now looking. Staying back still. But now they decide to push out in front. Here goes the Horizon. Throwing that ult away. Black Hole throwing in stars. Pulling everybody in. Fragnades. Thermites. Anything out of your back pockets. Everything but the kitchen sink. Throw it in there. Sticks is going to get a few there. And another one for him. Team 5 sitting pretty high on kills. Toxify, Caps Lock, Coffee Monkey. Pretty close together. And there they are. It's pretty well divided in the map. Nobody wants to go towards the middle right now. It is a dead man's way through there. Three on one over there. Jake guarding the door. Tries to take the gunfights. But I don't think that Horizon is going to hold on very well. No, he won't. And team number nine will fall. As, as, as you can see on the map, everyone's still staying in their locations pretty well. We have all the teams are fairly close. Either running Caustic, Watson, quite a few Horizons. And man, the shots in there from the 30-30, my favorite uh, personal weapon in all of Apex. We're going to see there. Faulty Window and the Bloodhound. Shout out to Faulty Window for using that 30-30. And now the Conduit finding its way around. Using that ult. Trying to get himself away. Cover himself up. But no, Team 4 might see an exit. The only one left. Cal. Being the lone survivor. Team 5. With a full team. And now pushing. That Revenant gets the shots. And now down below. Another Watson ult. Thrown together. Throwing nades. That Horizon takes one down, off and away. That wingman in the back pocket for sticks. Waiting and looking. I believe Podge has his ultimate as well. Yes, he does. And that could... I'm not quite sure how Podge is going to use that late game, though. They're going to have to almost corner a team for it to be very, very uh, useful. But another squad will fall, and I think that was a solo for team four and now team four is out of it completely and team one as well team 14 rounding out number five doesn't have a chance at the title just yet but we could see team five take it home they have a pretty good stack i'm not calling it yet but they could And now, Sticks getting aggressive with that wingman, placing his shots perfectly, and gets the down on one. Going to rotate back and let I'm that dude go ahead and get some damage in. Staying backside of zone, six squads left. A lot of people in these final two circles. And man, they got that area locked down. Cox, Caustic, Watson, and, um, and I believe that's Conduit as well. Yes, it is. And now that zone on their backs as well. Dealing lots and lots of damage. Down goes one. Down goes two. Coffee Monkey. Get away. And no. Team number two was eliminated. And that might... That might leave only one more team left. For this scissor tail division. Team five getting active. Playing through these Watsons. Shooting them away one by one. But it gets cornered just a little bit. They might have gone too aggressive. Deciding to get away. Sticks having to heal. Jaden, Team 14, up on height. Looking, waiting, waiting for him to crouch on that backside. They do take height. Down goes one. Looking for the finish, Jaden, but no. Juicy falls for Team 14. Down they go. Now Team 5 realizes that they have verticality on them. And looking to stay close. Does have the Watson down. That ult. And now here's the Horizon getting up with them. They have no clue, Team 14, whatsoever. Playing behind the knockdown shield. And Team 14 is gone. 
Everyone's sitting well off, and I'm that dude using that ultimate. Sending shots down. Again, still that wingman is just a amazing red weapon to have. Jumping down, taking low ground. But no, sticks will fall. And now Podge looking for the revive. I'm that dude. Still staying back. That Watson trying to cut him off and they will get fabulous Sailor. And it could, this could be it. Team five could take home the state championship right here. And they will. And team number five is your state champion winners for the scissor tail division. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Podge. I'm that dude and Rise Dawn sticks. Great job to that team. Props to y'all. Well played. Great season for y'all. Celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, if y'all are in the chat, give that team some love. Man, what a game played by team number five. You will be remembered on, on the Southeastern Esports stream in 2024 for being the winning team of this year. And again, team five rounding out it with 11 kills, team 15 none, team three seven, team 14 seven, and rounding out the top five, team number two with no kills there. And so back over to the upper division after that great win for team number five. And now let's get an idea of what this upper division is going to look like. We are now again joined by one of our very own uh, esports Players, Fang, yet again, how are we doing? I'm doing good. I was adrenaline pumping just watching, honestly. That was great. He was the caster or the director for that standard, or not standard, Scissor Tail Division. Team number five. Again, great job to y'all. And now we look to an early start for potentially team number five. Let me take a look at the updated stats yet again. And now we have three different teams fighting it out for this match point. Team 5, Team 8, and Team 4. Team 5 being the first appearance made in this match point. Taking shots. Miso Soup. Triple take. They have seemed to really heat up so far. I noticed that the change in gunplay has changed from team four and team eight have kept long range weapons pretty much throughout this whole thing and now the other teams are trying to catch up to him what do you think about that uh honestly long range weapons is the way to go especially on broken moon this map is more of a open area and it's not a there is cover but there's more open wide spaces for long range gunfight plays so do you think that'll be a uh, a real determining factor of how the rest of this game is going to go possibly there, I've seen several games where close range comes into better effect, but long range weapons have been taking the meta recently. All right, absolutely. And again, with this new season of Apex, we saw a lot of buffs, a lot of nerfs. There are 99, kind of got killed just a little bit. Yeah, kind of put in just, the dirt. Just a little bit. Now the vault is uh, yep. vault up is... there for SMGs. Yep. But nonetheless, we'll see a lot of teams still fighting it out here team number three has not made their way into um the top 10 just yet they're in 12th place with 15 kills to their name i love watching high school play because <laughs> it's so different comp compared to what i'm used to so there's definitely more like octanes mad maggies never see those hey it's comfort picks all the way right, man right you gotta love it gotta love it I was just glad I got to pick my comfort pick for <laughs> once because it was actually decent enough to play. Fang um, is, if you watch the streams, you'll come to know him as the Lifeline main forever. And so... <laughs> that is the Discord name. And Lifeline we trust. And Lifeline we trust. And now Team 3 getting very, very active on this team down below. Smiles uh, yanked. Oh, and Majure. Faking him out, getting on the other side of that door. And now here we all inside with the alternator. Alternator does shred. It does. It's a very, very great SMG. And chasing Octane. Who can go faster? 
He's gonna park and catch up, and there is the shot and the elimination. Team eight is eliminated yet again. <laughs> they are hunting these teams down, not letting them have a single chance of winning. So now Void Sniper, Zane, and Moonwalker no longer have a shot at the title, at least for this game. And team four as well has been shredded down to just one. And I don't think they're going to be able to pick up the retake ban or their uh, respawn banner. Excuse me. They, luckily, they have a mirage on that team, so they'll be able to craft those banners. And Team 5 might see another um, early takeoff as well. But no, they're going to sweep the floor. Team 12 gone. And sitting pretty well, Miso Soup, Wookiees, and Apex have found their rhythm. And really a comeback. They had to play two more games than the usual to finally get this win. But nonetheless, very, being very, very competitive, and I love to see that, especially in high school esports, super passionate about the game, super passionate about how you play and the way that you show that through your gameplay. Love to see that. Not afraid of pushing anything. Aggression is at an all-time high in high school esports. Is, that is another thing I have noticed that is different compared to college esports. Swing or be swung. Swing or be swung. You're either going 0-1 or 1-0. Who knows? Right. We're putting Rainbow Six Siege logic into this. Swing <laughs> or be swung. Swing or be swung. But here we go. Team number five still sitting at first place with the updated stats. And man, getting shredded with that flat, or excuse me, that vault. And now Horizon taking to the skies. Could see a potential pick here. Hunting him out. Sees him. Marks them. And now they're going to get a decent position in this building. Miso trying to get uh, picks on the rotating players around, but is eventually going to catch up with his team. That vault is just so good. It is. It's the new R99. <laughs> it's the new R99. 2.0. 2.0. Yeah, 2.0. <laughs> Except for it uses energy ammo. Unfortunate. <laughs> Even better. I'm a lover of uh, traditional bullets. I, li I like the powder. Yeah, that's Lead fair. and powder. Sounds that's good fair. to me. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm not a uh, saver of the world, but, you know, energy rules. <laughs> <laughs> and now Team 7 looking to make their mark. They are not at match point yet, but getting very, very close. Just an insane uh, amount of gameplay here. I would like to say that our top fraggers is Team 5 with 41 combined total kills they have killed completely two lobbies over essentially in these few games so props to them and again team eight and team four 38 kills for team eight and 45 kills for team four y'all have done an amazing amazing job throughout these entire tournament yeah they almost got enough to kill one entire whole entire lobby <laughs> like 40 41 kills is insane it is and now team seven feeling the pressure Sending a lot of smokes in there along with thermite nades. They're just going to try to hold them off. And Pambi dangerously low with Valk there. Pambi might not be up. Ooh. I was about to say Pambi might not be long for this world. Nope. Rest in peace, Pambi. We will see you, when you hopefully in the next match. When you have a chance to heal, you got to heal. Yep. And that conduit caught in no man's yeah, land. Yeah. And Banana are going to be the one to pick that up on DJ Mario. 99. And you get the finish as well. Yeah, these uh, tournaments, you finish them so that way you can actually... Might not have a chance to respawn. But now with the uh, change of crafting banners, it's gotten a lot interesting. Yeah. Some people think not finishing off players is good. Some people think uh, finishing off players is bad or good, just depending. Absolutely. It's really what your cup of tea is. Yeah, and Team 13 just gets eliminated right there. And again, down 13 squads left, 33 people remaining. Wookiees, Apex, and Soup sitting pretty well off so far. Take a look. The OG setup there, Peacekeeper and R99. What do we think about that one? Oh, that brings back memories. Nostalgia at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know, uh, that was... I think since season one and two, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, those guns have been absolutely dominant in the meta. 
especially if you get it in the hands of right players. Uh, a whole mag R99 headshot was just the most satisfying thing you could ever do in a game of Apex. See a season zero player with that, you know it's not. It's, it's a scary sight. It is it's a very scary sight. Terrifying. And team two going to try to find their place into... Uh, they are in the top 10. They are sitting at number nine at the moment. So hopefully still battling it out for placement. Now it is, I would like to say this is a little bit of a caster's note. It is absolutely pouring down here oh, yeah. in southeastern Oklahoma. And we'd like to say if you're watching from home, uh, again, it's just great to uh, to watch these players. Even on a rainy day, even though it might be be nasty and mucky outside, energy is high here. I've got a long walk. <laughs> Some of us do have to drive home, so that'll be fun. But team number three getting shredded, yanked on the zip line, just being completely shot there. And it nice looks like they're just going to take yellow. the merry go round. They're going to take the merry go round, and stuck in zone is team seven. That is the only competing team. And they're just going to trade off revives here. I don't think Octane is going to be able to yeah. get much health left. Nope, and jump pad. Sends himself away. That's a great, great play by Octane right there, using that to get... Kicking, <laughs> kicking brick in a way. Again, I don't think the zone is going to be able to take... Uh, it's not going to be able to take any. Them out. It's, what, it's zone two, it looks like? Yes, zone three. Zone three, ooh. Yeah. Okay. Team 19 playing a duo team players oh, there. Oh, oh. Stream messed up just a little bit. We'll be over here. Dr. Shish Kebab, team number four. And now facing the horizon, trying to fly away. But that car in hand. Doing good. G7 Scout, we haven't seen much of that just yet. But any gun will work. And Bog going to take the fall there. Yanked going to get Xenos. Yanked, shout out Bigsby. Car, another good gun to use. And Lisa on the kill leader. Going to pick up Bog. G7, hands of Lisa on. My favorite, honestly. G7s are like the bread and butter. <laughs> it's a very satisfying gun. It is a very satisfying gun. I would I would have to choose a 3030 over it though. Yeah, I yeah, <laughs> I use 3030, but back in the day, let me just say, G7 <laughs> was everything. And now we see 12 squads remaining in this this third circle, almost fourth, counting it down. But now Bigsby going to see some heat from some enemy teams. There's Team 5. Team 5. Again, a very, very prominent team. Team 2 is now eliminated. And they do not have any more placements. Those. Team 5 trying to get with that Horizon up there. This is... Horizon is almost a necessary pick. Um, especially if you want to get good rotations late in the game. And just catch people off guards. We saw in the... In the scissor tail division, a horizon play that sealed the game uh, completely got on vert on top of a rock, really, that they were previously being held from and just shredded the team up top there. Yeah, unexpected. And nice. Nice. Good shots with the peacekeeper. Everything is going off. These headphones are absolutely killing my eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> team number five, Miso, Apex, Wookiees. Gonna take out team number 20. Excellent. And range, getting some shots. Sergeant. And Range will pick up another one as well. Being very, very good. Not a... That's nothing with loud noise right there. Especially <laughs> when you have to play it at very high to hear any footsteps. Yeah. Near you. And team number four still in the running here as well as team number three. Someone's spraying and praying. Absolutely. Looking for it. Trying to deal some damage. Does get the crack. And now looking and dead. Team 9 is now eliminated. Well, there looks like to be a rat. And, Steam, <laughs> and team number 6, Snorlax, the Horizon. Staying back. Do not take that shock, young boy. You know you don't want to. You got to save your team here. And he's going to be playing way on the backside of zone. They're taking a look at team number 3, Bixby. Trying to find their way, hopefully, sitting at position 12 right now. And team one running out the top five. I believe team five is down below team one. 
right now. I think so. Micro Dally and yeah. Leviathan. Bigsby looking to get the far rotate. Ooh, wingman and the. Okay. Ooh. I was about to say if they pass that up, that would be a huge mistake. And they're just gonna they're just gonna reset and give all their ammo away or try to even out their kits just a little bit more. Peacekeeper and wingman. Love that combo. It's a wild wild west out here. Old combo too. <laughs> Bigsby being pretty well positioned. They are outside of zone, but they're going to try to catch the rotating players in. They do need quite a bit of kills to try to at least catch up with the rest of the teams in the top top few positions. I will say set the wingman free. Put it back in ground. <laughs> set the wingman free out of vault. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. And now again, all these teams seem to catch up with one another. This building seems to be the hot spot for control over this final circle. And now team number one being the early man there. We'll see team seven is going to take the fall banana and he will be eliminated. Snorlax, the, <laughs> the rat there, going to take down banana. Ooh, that ring. He's not. Brick might not make it. Team seven. Staying alive, having trying to have a fighting chance. Team one could pull away the win here which will set us up for yet another game in the upper division they have to play smart though they gotta watch when teams are pushing them and really not try to get too spread out one overextension can lead to a loss absolutely now team number three bigsby looking to get some k's and just absolutely Flies right into his neighbor there. Smiles looking for the vault. That conduit does get the shot on Miso. And he is a vital player for that team there. Down one. Wookiees getting Miso. And team, I believe five, trying to stay alive. The top runners for this team. Leviathan up top, shooting with that flat line. Waiting. Flatline's a heavy hitter. Absolutely. If you handle that recoil, you can handle a lot of things. Absolutely. Pretty much the AK of the uh, of is. the Apex world. Down below, sees two's Mirage. Uh, Clone's just going to shoot him away. Kind of annoying to look at, but now Team 1. G7 Scout with Dally. You hear that G7 purr. <laughs> Again, we're switching away and to many different uh, POVs, but let's take a look at the overhead position here. As you can see, that team up top, Wookie, Soup, and uh, Legend down below are going to make their move late. I think that as soon as Lizon and Range go to make their move... Is that a res? It might be. No way. Did they that, get a res off? That is that a res by that black hole? They did! That is awesome. Bigsby got a res off. Man, great job by Bigsby. That is crazy. Well done, sir. I believe there are two teams right now fighting it out for the state champion title. This could be the final game, ladies and gentlemen, but Bigsby is stacked right now. Full HP, full shields, Evo, everything. Team one is not yet in the running. Neither is Bigsby, and down goes one for Bigsby. Smiles, now team number four looking... Bigsby in a terrible position. This could be the end of their run, but no, a one on two. And look at the movement from Liaison. Wow. Wow. When the car goes, it goes. What a play by him. What a control on that gun. Three teams remaining. Three people in each squad. And now team one, I think, is the only team that doesn't have a match point here. The other two teams do. Up top, vertical, getting some very good shots in. Does have that rolling thunder, could pop it soon. But they are going to have to watch their flanks. Out in the middle, Mirage. Team one does have the advantage here. Team one does have the advantage. Shooting away. Nice drill. Lots and lots of shots coming in. Team one is going to be the target for these other two teams. 
And now this could play out many different ways. The two match point teams could face off and uh, end up losing. And team one could sneak a sneak a win out here if they really wanted to. But on this other side of the box, looks to be another res. And it looks like all of them have ultimates. I'm surprised none of them have used it yet. And that wingman being crucial. Thermite nades coming in from micro. Being very patient. I love that. And that Rolling Thunder up top. They got to get away from it. Using the Horizon. Great, great play. Leviathan saving his team. But up and away. They're going to have to keep vertical. It barely lands. Dally. Heavy damage. Has to run up top yet again. And going away. Down goes one for Micro. Got to use that ult. He has to play zone. He's get the rest of his team behind him. Got to play ult. He... That team one right now would help. Sending out smokes. Team four dangerously low. Down goes one for team four. Team one in shambles right now. There goes the ult for bang. Down goes another one. And now team one, two. They could see the game right here. But now Horizon flies away. Dally down. Leviathan, the only one left. Flying high. Team one in shambles. Can he get the rest of his team? No, he cannot. He has people way too close to him. Uh, and team five is going to be your upper division state champions for 2024. Give it a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What a final circle there, man. We saw team one on vertical fighting it out, but eventually got pushed out of their, their position on from from the ring and man team five was able to uh clean that up and man not using those ults did cost them a lot especially the bang and the uh, mad maggie yeah not using those alts and again ladies and gentlemen team number five is going to be your state what are the odds? champion winners a comeback victory from two games behind that is an amazing play hats off to everyone there if anyone is in the chat and knows actually i can i might be able to pull it up right here both just let me make fives. sure both team did both team fives really win that yes, one both team fives won that that is what are the chances what are the chances and again we'll see maybe hopefully i have it where are the teams where are the teams team five is that lawton uh upper division let's take a look let's take a look at that lawton yes no no wait no is that it team slot okay five norman north norman is north. going to take that home wow great job everyone there man that is amazing to see in the high school um the high school area and again taking a look at these final stats team number five's 74 points before they ended up with the win there 41 kills total ladies and gentlemen it has been a wild ride here for this tournament and again thank you so much for watching norman north that is confirmed they have won congrats to norman congrats. north on your state champion win so, ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so much for watching. And it is very exciting to see the future of esports in all high schools and colleges to come. All the high schoolers watching, thank you so much for playing and participating and showing your skills in this match this evening. My name is Colby Gray, and I will see y'all later. Peace out.